Chapter 31, Episode 7 Landlord 5. As I watched the surging wave of monsters, I gave strength to my thighs. The level 15 strength condensed at once and my feet developed a strong propulsion force. The ground rats ran from all directions and the hard horns of the grolls flew from unexpected places. My skin, which was tempered by the level 15 stamina, became bruised and bloody from the grolls' horns. The number one bookmark has been activated. Bookmark was activated and Kim Namwung's blackening wrapped around my body. I pushed away all the monsters coming from the front. Fangs burrowed into my body and a few ground rats bit my thighs. However, I didn't stop. Run and run again. Over here. Finally, the original wall was visible. I jumped over the ground rats. There was a green zone for two people shining. By the way, shit. Green zone one half. There was already someone inside. Quote ellipsis quote. I forgot about the monsters coming from behind and stared at him. There was a guy who should never be there. Hey. He turned to me. Can't you get out? You don't even need to stay in here. It is difficult. I am tired today. I pushed to punch this asshole's face. I didn't understand. This wasn't the third regression, Yu Jong Hyuk that I knew. In Ways of Survival, it was written that Yu Jong Hyuk only found the first hidden green zone in the fourth regression. Damn, did he know about this place since the second regression and it just wasn't described? Then why didn't he originally use it in the third regression? Grr. There were the cries of the ground rats chasing me from behind. It was too late to blame the writer. I could feel Lee Gilyoung's breathing. I stared into Yu Jong Hyuk's eyes. We spoke at almost the same time. Take the kid. Give me the child. Still, it was lucky. The constellations would hear my words. Green zone two halves. I moved Lee Gilyoung and the mark of the green zone changed. Now Lee Gilyoung was safe. Hung. Wait a minute. Hung. Lee Gilyoung urgently tried to rush towards me but Yu Jong Hyuk's hand restrained him. I swung my sword towards the ground rats. The constellation, bald general of justice, has closed his eyes. The constellation demon-like judge of fire is watching you with uncomfortable eyes. At the last minute, Yu Jong Hyuk's eyes seemed to move. I told you that you would die. The waves of monsters headed towards me. Now there were no more green zones remaining. I won't die. I ignored the monsters and put a hand in my pocket. In fact, I really didn't want to use this. I couldn't be assured that there would be no after effects. Now I had to believe in the fourth wall. That. Yu Jong Hyuk's eyes shook with surprise. This bastard, did he find out? Well, I wouldn't have known this method without him. I looked down at the white stone shining in the palm of my hand. Spectre's stone. It was an item I gained by hunting spectres on the way to Chungyuro. Hundreds of ground rats started biting at my body. I was bleeding from minor wounds and the shoulders struck by the groll's horns were red with blood. As the durability of my body rapidly diminished, I put the stone into my mouth. Then something like water vapor started to emerge from my mouth. The water vapor formed a fog that covered me. The welcome prison is activated. The ground rats and grolls stopped attacking me at once. Everything around me started to distort. The platform, Yu Jong Hyuk and Lee Gilyoung calling out to me. I became a ghost. Dokya. I noticed as soon as I heard my mother's voice. This was a dream. I tried not to get caught up in it but it wasn't easy this time. The floor sank like a quagmire and swallowed me. Due to excessive immersion, the influence of fourth wall has temporarily weakened. Scenes started to weave in front of me, no matter what I wanted. A living room covered with blood. The cold body of a man. The back of a woman looking down at the body. No. This memory was difficult to remember. I couldn't remember it. I shook my head furiously and the scene in front of me scattered. This damn trauma. It was a memory I didn't want to see. This was why I was reluctant to eat the specter's stone. The specter's stone temporarily made the user a ghost and turned them invisible to monsters. But it has a side effect of causing the user's trauma to peak. That's why I didn't give it to the other party members. If it had been used by someone other than myself, they might have turned into a madman. Dot. I had to endure, even if my head was hurting like crazy. Certainly, the fourth wall was a scam. The skill would even be able to eat away at this stone. I wouldn't see this effect even with the superior, mental barrier. Where was it? If my guess was correct, this skill. Yu Jong Hyuk. Are you Yu Jong Hyuk? I thought a trauma had started again but it wasn't my voice. It wasn't a voice created by my memories. I looked back and saw a strange woman. You aren't Yu Jong Hyuk. I think you are Korean but who are you? A dazzling blonde foreigner. She was a little girl with a short height. The girl looked at me for a long time with an incomprehensible expression. That, I don't understand. 
I've seen the future a number of times but I've never seen you before. In the girl's left eye, an ominous red swirl could be seen. The pages flashed in my head. I knew this person. No, there was absolutely no way I couldn't know her. In this case, the exclusive skill, character list is activated. The character, Anna Croft, is using, mental barrier LV. 6 feet. Character list ignores mental barrier LV. 6. There is too much information about this person. Character list is converted to summary list. Plus. Character summary. Name. Anna Croft. Attribute. Prophet. Legend. Savior. Legend. Exclusive skills. Future sight LV. 5. Past sight LV. 4. Insight LV. 8. Clairvoyance LV. 4. Advanced magic training LV. 4. Mental barrier LV. 6. Lie detection LV. 7. Great demon's eyes LV. 1. Plus. A woman who could ignore space constraints and freely enter the consciousness of other people. A woman who saw the future and tried to design the future of the world. There was only one, woman, with such a way of thinking and ways of destruction. Anna Croft. How do you know me? Her eyes widened and she glared at me. I replied quietly, I'm a prophet. The character Anna Croft has triggered lie detection LV. 7. Lie detection has confirmed that your words are false. Indeed, I couldn't lie to a true prophet. Reveal your true identity. Who are you? Her small lips were tightly closed. It looked as though she was protesting. I anticipated how the situation would roughly occur. The woman noticed my presence, perhaps because the influence of fourth wall temporarily weakened. If fourth wall was really the skill I thought it was. By the way, it was disappointing. Do you really not know who I am? Huh. Didn't I send you the Ichthyosaurus core? Anna's lips slowly widened. You must have implanted the great demon's eyes with the power of the core. Right. T then you. You asked for broken faith. Great demon's eyes. It was a huge one million coin item that was taken by this woman with a damn diamond sponsor. I felt envious. You. What is your name? How? The influence of the exclusive skill, fourth wall, is slowly returning. Why? Why can't I see anything? Her eyes became blurred. The influence of the great demon's eyes, which could interfere with the consciousness of others, weakened and her figure gradually faded. I waved my hands. Someday we will meet. Wait across the continent. The exclusive skill fourth wall has been completely restored. Anna completely disappeared. I sighed with relief. In fact, my spirit had been fluctuating back and forth when talking to Anna Croft. It wasn't very good. Due to the skill effect, immunity to welcome prison has occurred. Damn it, the effect took place too late. I felt my consciousness clear up. The discomfort still remained but it was much better than before. I took a deep breath and slowly exhaled. I looked at the distinct facts one by one in order to regain my rationality. I am Kim Dokya. The world was destroyed. Ways of survival had become reality. This was, welcome prison. I ate the specter's stone and was a ghost for a while. If I was a ghost, I wouldn't be attacked by the underground species. Yes, that's right. So, the world looked like this. In the midst of the landscape that seemed like I had eaten drugs, the flow of time was hardly noticeable. I became a bit uneasy. What happened to Yu Sangha, Li Hunsung and Yung Hiwan? That Zhang Hyuk bastard, did he kill Gilyang? Was the third scenario still in progress? What if there were still ground rats around? Were the Grolls circling in order to eat me? If so, Hung, please. Dokya SSI. Voices flashed through my head. The exclusive skill, permanent LV, 1, is activated. TL, temporary name. The skill hasn't appeared before, and there is no explanation. The Korean used for it is usually used for, perm. I highly doubt that is right so I went with permanent. I will change if it I get more information later. Yes, it was time to go back. I breathed out roughly. There was a soft texture touching my cheek. Dokya SSI. The fog faded and my vision became clear. The first thing that I saw was Yu Sangha's face. Lee Hunsung and Yung Hee Wan's worried faces also appeared. The scenario. It ended Dokya SSI. We did it. We did it. I see. We did it. I looked at the agitated party members and tried to move my body. I had remained stiff for a long time and my muscles barely listened to me. Don't be. Pleased. Huh. Only one day has passed. Yesterday was the third day. Lee Hunsung caught me as I tried to get up. Dokya SSI. It isn't possible. You haven't slept at all. What time is it now? It is 8.30 am. 30 minutes have passed since the scenario ended. 8.30. Fortunately, not too much time passed. By the way, there was a face missing. Where is Gilyang? Ah, Gilyang. 
Before Yung Hee Wan spoke, I already discovered where Yung Hee Wan was. Lee Jai Hee and Yu Jong Hyuk were looking down at Lee Gil Young a few steps away. No, what was that bastard Yu Jong Hyuk doing? At this moment, I remembered how Yu Jong Hyuk was surprised when he saw my party. Don't tell me, when Yu Jong Hyuk used Sage's eyes. When, you have chosen. Obvious never, before. Due to the after effects of using the stone, Yu Jong Hyuk's voice wasn't heard properly. Then Lee Gil Young started talking. It is okay. You really won't go with me. Yes. You can become much stronger with me than with him. You still won't go. Yes. I won't. Stupid kid. Yu Jong Hyuk frowned and looked my way. Exclusive skill, Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint Stage 2 has been activated. Lucky guy. He will be helpful so let's keep him a little longer. I wanted to say something but I had no energy in my body. Dokya Hung. Once he discovered that I woke up, Lee Gil Young rushed towards me with swollen eyes. Yu Jong Hyuk's thoughts still rang in my head. There is no time to delay. I have to finish the attack today. Otherwise, attack. What was he talking about? I had to think, damn, I'm too tired. As I relaxed my body, the softness of the thigh I was lying on touched my cheek again. Yu Sangha SSI. Why yes. Sorry, I'm going to sleep a bit. Then I fell asleep. It was a sweet sleep without any dreams. I woke up two hours later. Hey, how long are you going to sleep? I opened my eyes at the loud and unpleasant voice. This time, the texture against my cheek was much thicker and harder than before. Ah, Dokya SSI woke up. Smiling lips. Young Hee Wan was looking down at me. Yu Sangha SSI took a break. We didn't sleep well last night. I turned my head and saw Yu Sangha sleeping against a wall. Young Hee Wan smiled. By the way, is Lee Hunsung's thigh comfortable? I turned and saw Lee Hunsung drooling. Today in the morning, the on call officer will conduct the duties. I thought the height of the pillow wasn't right. It turned out to be Lee Hunsung's thigh. It was an army pillow with a bloody smell. Dokya Hung. I felt a heavy feeling on my stomach and looked down to see Lee Gil Young leaning against me and sleeping. The moment I carefully raised my body, I heard Bi Young's voice. Haha, you are awake. Then take this. Messages poured into my ears. The constellation, demon-like judge of fire, is sad about your trauma. The constellation, abyssal black flame dragon, is interested in your past. The constellation secretive plotter is wondering about your mother. The constellations have sponsored you 1,800 coins. Sons of a bitches. They were trying to steal a peek at my past. This wasn't the end. You have endured Chung Muro's night without the green zone. You have accomplished the, never-ending dawn, achievement at Chungmuro Station. You have earned 1,000 coins as an achievement reward. Coins possessed. 22,650 C. I had achieved the target amount. I didn't experience a hard night for nothing. This time Young Hee Wan asked. What should we do today? Like yesterday. No, not today. That only works for one day. Of course, if we were lucky then we might be able to find the randomly generated green zone. Unfortunately, there was no detailed description of the location of the green zones on day 4 in Ways of Survival. Then, Young Hee Wan's expression became dark. But it was unnecessary worry. Today we will completely end the third scenario. Huh. I carefully laid Lee Gil Young and got up. It wasn't originally planned but I couldn't wait after hearing Yu Jong Hyuk's thoughts. Yesterday, he had no choice but to buy time. However, the story was different today. I will drag out the landowners. How? Young Hee Wan asked and I looked at Lee Hunsung, who was sleeping deeply. I have to use the secret weapon that I saved. Now it was time to change the owner of Chung Muro. Chapter 32. Episode 8 Emergency Defense 1. Lee Hunsung was dozing like an officer on duty. Perhaps there would be such a description in Ways of Survival. And maybe there was this sentence. Maybe Lee Hunsung didn't know. What would happen to him today? Hunsung SSI. Ah, hem, I fell asleep for a moment. Dokya SSI, are you well rested? Yes, I'm fine. By the way, you were talking. Officer on duty. Hey, really? Something about second class soldier Lee Hunsung. Lee Hunsung's face turned red. T that, just a trauma from my days as a soldier. Days as a soldier, isn't Lee Hunsung an officer? That, I was transferred to the third unit when I was a corporal. I heard these cases are rare. You must have been well suited for the army. Lee, Hunsung laughed. It was a laugh that I could understand. There were few people well suited for the army. The people who remained didn't fit elsewhere. Then it was time to throw a small stone. Still, I'm glad that Lee Hunsung SSI is here. Huh. I'm relieved when Lee Hunsung SSI blocks in front. It feels like someone is protecting me. 
Is that so? Li Hunsung smiled slightly. It was a weak smile, but it was certainly a comforting smile. After exchanging brief greetings, I separated from Li Hunsung. In the original third round development of Ways of Survival, Li Hunsung experienced a character evolution by protecting the people at Gumho Station from the Chioldu group. But Yung Hee Wan took that chance. Now Yu Sangha, Yung Hee Wan and Li Gilyoung were approaching me. I faced them. Did you see the demonstration? Just do what I did. Yes. Well, pretty much. But why do we have to do this? There was a reason for it. The character, Li Hunsung, has started to feel responsible. Lee Hunsung was currently wiping his shield with an innocent expression. Omniscient reader's viewpoint was a scam. At least, as far as, characters, went. I want to help Hunsung SSI. He looks a bit down these days. Won't he feel better if you cheer him up? I said this for Lee Hunsung Sake. The innocent Yusenga nodded her head. Is it the saying, dance like a while at praise? It is similar. I understand. I'll give it a try. Unlike Yusenga, Yung Hee Wan had an uncertain expression. Dokya SSI, yes. Dokya C's sponsor isn't something like, one-eyed fortunate teller, right? What is that? You don't know. Well, there was something like this. For a moment, I thought that Yung Hee Wan might be the writer of ways of survival. For example, Gung Yi was the, one-eyed matria. It isn't that. I have a special skill. It is a skill that understands people well. I don't know if I want to ask, so I won't. Thank you. But have you ever used it on me? I almost showed emotions on my face. It was fortunate that Yung Hee Wan didn't have lie detection. I looked at Lee Gilyoung and said, I only use it on men. Oh my, it wasn't a lie. I haven't read Yung Hee Wan's heart. So far. Anyway, I am asking everyone to do this. First is Yung Hee Wan SSI, then Yu Sangha and Gilyoung is last. Please take it in turns to speak to him. Oh my, I really believe in Hunsung SSI. That type of feeling. Please don't go so far. Sigh, I am really going to die. Still, she needed to do it. In order for this plan to succeed, Lee Hunsung's attribute evolution was absolutely necessary. I would have planned a bit sooner if I knew Yu Jong Hyuk would act like this, but if we tried hard, I should be able to see the result today. In fact, they seem to be doing well. Hunsung SSI is really dependable. You are like a pine tree. Haha, ha, thank you, He Won SSI. My favorite song is Green Pine. The character, Lee Hunsung, feels proud. I didn't ask. The character, Lee Hunsung, feels a bit sullen. I don't think I've seen a righteous person like Hunsung SSI. Ah, that isn't the case. Still, thank you, Yu Sangha SSI. The character, Lee Hunsung, has started to worry about justice. Hunsung Hung has the best muscles. Thank you, everyone. The character, Lee Hunsung, has increased his self esteem. It was fortunate that Lee Hunsung was a simple person and such empty praises worked well. After repeating the same conversation several times like this, the system messages started to change. The character, Lee Hunsung, is waiting for a chance to evolve his attribute. Okay. It went smoothly. Yu Sangha asked in a slightly worried tone. But, I think Hunsung SSI is a bit burdened. Yu Sangha was really nice. Even in this situation, she was concerned about someone else's heart. I didn't have that ability. Maybe a bit. But it is necessary. There are some people in the world who become stronger as they carry more burdens. Ah. Don't worry. And, Gilyoung, did you do what I asked? Yes Hung. Lee Gilyoung replied from next to Yu Sangha. On his head, there was a pair of small cockroaches like they were antennae. That Nuna, she is on B1. Thank you. Lee Hunsung was good. Now it was time to steal the power of others. I walked up the stairs alone. The people of the Landlord Alliance welcomed me as I went up. Haha, ha, who is this? If it isn't the illegal tenant. Quote ellipsis quote. You are coming up here after doing well. Did you really survive yesterday without a room? Did Yu Jong Hyuk help you? I ignored them and kept walking. The Landlord Alliance members kept talking, as if they thought I was scared. Isn't it hard to live with Yu Jong Hyuk? Enter our alliance. Pildu SSI said he would let you. I didn't care and counted the remaining green zones on every floor. One, two, three, in order for this plan to succeed, I couldn't miss a single one. Of course, under the condition that you bring both women. Now there were 11 green zones remaining. The number had reduced a lot after yesterday's scenario. It was a close number to carry out the plan. Hey, are you ignoring me now? I'm listening. Tell him I'm thinking about it. The alliance members looked at each other and chuckled at my words. They could laugh like that now. I was walking up the escalator when a blade suddenly reached my neck. 
I felt very few signs it was coming, there was only one skill that boasted this type of concealed movements in the beginning. Ghost walk. I'm disappointed, a juicy. Lee Jaihee. A proud girl with outstanding fighting skills. She wasn't chosen by the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare for nothing. A juicy, don't you know what will happen to those women if you make a deal with them? I know. Do you really know? Yesterday, wouldn't you rather die? I shrugged. Put away the sword. Let's talk. Doc. You came to find me on purpose. Yes. Lee Jaihee put away the sword. I followed behind Lee Jaihee. Lee Jaihee walked from B1 to the ticket barrier at the entrance. We seemed to walk for a while. What did you want to talk about? But why are you standing there? Master told me to defend this place. Defend. That's why I can't let you pass. Lee Jaihee touched the ticket gate and drew her hand across her neck. I looked at the passage beyond the ticket gate. There were exit numbers leading to the ground but not all numbers led to the ground. At that moment, I had an ominous feeling. That Yu Jonghyuk, surely he wasn't trying that route. If Yu Jonghyuk wanted to protect this place, there was only one reason. As the scenario was in progress, he was secretly trying to attack the, hidden dungeon, of Chungmuro. Hidden dungeon attack. It sounded good. In fact, it wasn't bad if the main character became stronger. The problem was that this dungeon was a place that Yu Jonghyuk couldn't clear until the end of the third regression. It looked like I should finish this quickly. I need your help. My help. Today, I will shatter Gong Pildu's party. Are you serious? Lee Jaihee looked at me like she was trying to see my heart. Your understanding of the character, Lee Jaihee, has increased. A juicy isn't strong enough. You won't be able to get rid of them. Even if you help me. Lee Jaihee's head jerked like her pride was damaged. It was natural. Lee Jaihee had already challenged Gong Pildu the first day she came to this station. Then she ran away. If Yu Jonghyuk hadn't appeared to rescue her, she would be dead. I have a way. I can do it if you help me. Master told me to stay here. If you don't help, most of the people here will die. People will die anyway. Did Yu Jonghyuk say that? Lee Jaihai's eyes shook. The boy we talked to yesterday is dead. Do you understand? I know. Maybe he could have lived. Then today, he would be rushing at us to tell us about Yu Jonghyuk. That. Yu Jonghyuk killed him. He could have saved him. I felt complicated while talking. I noticed that I wasn't much different from Yu Jonghyuk. The subway, Gumho Station, I ignored people I might have been able to save because my safety was being threatened. But hypocrites could speak plausible words. I saw the video of your scenario when I was on the subway. Lee Jaihai's small shoulders shook. It was a video where you killed your friend to survive. Stop. In fact, you didn't want to do that. The character, Lee Jaihi, is greatly disturbed. What do you know? I know what I know. Of course I don't know. I'm just talking to myself. Quote ellipsis quote. But since I am talking, I wanted to say this. If you turn away today, you will regret it for the rest of your life. Definitely. The character, Lee Jaihee, has fallen into deep agony. I didn't know the, human, Lee Jaihee but I knew the, character, Lee Jaihee. This girl was a loyal subordinate of Yu Jonghyuk. But that was a story for the future, not now. She admired Yu Jonghyuk's strength but she was essentially different from Yu Jonghyuk. Lee Jaihee opened her mouth a few minutes later. If I help, people can live. Not everyone, but some will survive. What should I do? I will start at 7 o'clock this evening. I told her the plan. In order to implement this plan, Lee Jaihee needed to do the things I told her. Lee Jaihee stared blankly and opened her mouth. Are you sane? You will really do this? Yes. Honestly, I don't think it will work. I'll tell you in advance. I don't think I can help. The choice is yours. She said this but Lee Jaihee would surely move. She was the person who was chosen by the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare. The Constellation secretive plotter likes your impudence. 100 coins have been sponsored. Lee Jaihee's sponsor likes you. 100 coins have been sponsored. Now all the preparations were finished. Chapter 33. Episode 8 Emergency Defense 2. It was finally the promised time. I gathered on the Line 3 platform with the party. Every member was checking their weapons. Lee Hunsung seemed to have handled it properly. I did as Dokya SSI asked. Since the weapons they had used so far were very old, I asked Lee Hunsung to produce new weapons. The materials were from the Grade 8 underground species, the Grohl that were killed in the struggle last night. The blades and spears were made by cutting the horns of the Grohl. They weren't long enough but they were appropriate as a temporary measure. Young Hiwan smiled like she was satisfied. Isn't this much lighter and durable? Ah, Dokya SSI, Hunsung SSI. Thank you very much. 
Yu Sangha bowed. The girl's horn couldn't be used to make a blunt weapon so only Li Giliang was still carrying a weapon from a ground rat. Li Giliang was silently gazing at the ground. This sulking child, I stroked his head and said. It won't be easy. This situation can be more dangerous than yesterday. Are you all ready? The party members nodded. Then we will start. From now on, it was a fight against time. We had to work as quickly as possible before the Landlord Alliance noticed the situation. Young Hiwan, Yu Sangha and Li Giliang disappeared to their respective floors for their missions, while I started climbing the stairs with Li Hunsung. Li Hunsung spoke in a voice without any confidence. Dokya SSI, I am unsure. He was the core of this operation. He shouldn't be talking like this. I deliberately answered in a strong voice. It will be fine. However, Li Hunsung's face was still timid. I think that people are relying on me more than they should. I'm not sure I can do well. Hunsung SSI is a dependable person. Thank you for saying so. In fact, this is my first experience. When I was in the army, I never got someone's trust like this. It was the first time I've heard this story. That reminded me, I didn't really know about Lee Hunsung's army life. Ways of survival only mentioned it in passing. Once this is over, I want to hear Hunsung C's story. I said it casually but Lee Hunsung was more shaken than I thought. The character, Lee Hunsung, has started to open his heart to you. Your understanding of the character, Lee Hunsung, has greatly increased. Sometimes I feel strange when talking to Dokya SSI. Huh. Why? It seems like you knew me from a long time ago, I can't explain it well, Li Hunsung scratched his head and trailed off. Ah, I don't mean anything strange. I just, I know what you mean. Thank you. I'm also curious about Dokya C's story. My story, yes. I have never seen a person like Dokya SSI before. I'm curious about what you did before this happened. Somehow, I felt a bit strange. The, supporting cast, of the novel I read was curious about me. I had a bit uncomfortable and had an itchy feeling. It isn't very interesting. I still want to hear it. Suddenly, a question popped into my head. If ways of survival hadn't become reality, would Lee Hunsung be living in the same world as me? Or did the novel suddenly emerge as a reality? I didn't know. One thing was for sure. Lee Hunsung was now a, living person, in front of me. Oh, you Jong Hyuk's friend. Did you come to negotiate? At this time, a number of middle-aged men came forward. Chungmuro's Landlord Alliance. Hem, but where are the women? The middle-aged man who spoke was holding a woman by her hair. She was part of the group that had been in the Five Spaces Green Zone just yesterday. The man laughed at my gaze. Ah, this friend didn't see her land, this matter doesn't concern you. S save me, help me. The woman was gazing at me pitifully. In my head, the constellations of the, absolute good, started clamoring. But I waited. It was because I had someone who would act instead of me. Let her go. It was Lee Hunsung. Who are you? Lee Hunsung looked at me after the middle-aged man's question. It was like he was asking for permission. I nodded. The character, Lee Hunsung, wants to practice justice of his own will. The character, Lee Hunsung, is about to evolve. The allied members pulled out their weapons and exerted a tremendous momentum. I checked the time. It was time to begin. I raised my stats with my coins. 1,200 coins have been invested into, stamina. Stamina LB. 15 to stamina LB. 18. Your stamina level has increased dramatically. 1,200 coins have been invested into, strength. Strength LB. 15 to strength LB. 18. Your strength level has increased dramatically. This was the maximum efficiency with minimal investment. Coins possessed. 20,450 C. I had another place to spend the remaining coins. Kwong. Small blasts were heard all over the subway. A big and small uproar followed. It was the signal. Hunsung SSI. Lee Hunsung nodded. We ran forward towards the men in the front row. The confused alliance members shouted. What, you bastards. The exclusive skill, white pure star energy, has been activated. Sukakak. Kyok. The arm of the middle-aged man holding the woman's head flew away. The middle-aged men froze at the blood that emerged. Lee Hunsung and I ignored them and kept running. The middle-aged men belatedly chased after us. These crazy guys. Stop them. A corridor on B2. It was the private land of Gong Pildu. You have invaded private property. Surround them. The alliance members waiting in front discovered us. Some of the alliance members were missing, so there were less than expected. 20 in the back, 12 in the back. However, it was still a lot of people. Well, I had no intention of dealing with all of them. 
The moment I was about to clash with the Alliance members, Lee Hunsung moved ahead of me with a steel shield. The character, Lee Hunsung, has used the stigma, Great Mountain Push LB. 1. Kwakakakak. Lee Hunsung used his tremendous muscle strength and they fell like dominoes. The character, Gong Pildu, has activated, Arm Zone LB. 4. Turrets started to rise from all over the territory. The turrets were charged with red magic bullets and were prepared to fire. There were five mini turrets. The level of arm zone had rised again. Dokya SSI. I overtook Lee Hunsung and at the same time, I received his shield. As soon as the solid shield entered my hand, a stunning shock from a bullet pushed me away. Kwong. 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 It was heavy, as if I was hit by a cannon. The arm holding the shield was in pain. The level 19 magic power was strong. But I had to hold on. The compensation effect of unbroken faith has increased stamina to level 20. A toughness that is one step higher has protected your body. A cheeky tenant is here. Beyond the voice, I heard Gong Pildu's gruff voice. Our feet were tied up by the powerful magic bullets while the Alliance members were still chasing us. The durability of the iron shield was falling. Now it could only block a dozen magic bullets in the future. Gong Pildu spoke like it was interesting. I don't think you came here to pay a fine. What is going on? Now I will quit being a tenant. How interesting. Are you coveting my land? We'll see. More than that, some of the trespassers' stats are reduced by the effect of Gong Pildu's private land. It had started. This was why Gong Pildu's power was scary. The special effect of Arm Zone was a private land debuff. Red magic power started condensing on the turrets. The character, Gong Pildu, is preparing the strengthened magic bullets. As long as the combo of private land and Arm Zone wasn't broken, there were very few incarnations who could deal with Gong Pildu. Die. The moment that the enhanced magic bullets were about to be launched, I heard the screams of people from far away. The wounded Landlord Alliance members were rushing to this side. P. Pildu SSI. The land. There were signs they were injured by something sharp. Lee Jaihe had moved. Now was the time. I looked at Lee Hunsung. Hunsung SSI, now. Lee Hunsung's eyes were shaking. Smash it. Lee Hunsung raised his fists up high. He looked uneasy and irritated, but there was also a firm determination not to retreat. The character, Lee Hunsung, has evolved. There was a blinding light and silver aura started to appear around Lee Hunsung's bidoy. I was a bit emotional at the sight. Lee Hunsung's, character evolution, was one of the scenes I liked most in Ways of Survival. It was the reason why Steel Sword Lee Hunsung was called one of the strongest supporting characters. That is, due to the character evolution, a new stigma has been opened. When it came to, one blow, Lee Hunsung was considered one of the strongest in ways of survival. The character, Lee Hunsung, has used the stigma, Great Mountain Smash LB. 1. Pale magic power gathered around Lee Hunsung's fist and within seconds, Lee Hunsung's arms became big enough to transcend common sense. Hot. Lee Hunsung's fists flammed down onto the ground. Kwong. There was a loud sound and the fragments of the broken floor scattered in the air. The Alliance members screamed. W what? Jjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjj
The constellation, bald general of justice, likes your revolution. The constellation, abyssal black flame dragon, likes the destruction and chaos. 300 coins have been sponsored. Why you bastard? Kill them. The alliance members shouted at us. I started running. Down to the platform with Lee Hunsung. The exclusive skill, character list is activated. Plus. Character list. Name. Lee Hunsung. Attribute. Person who has regained justice rare. Stigma. Great Mountain Smash LB. 1. Great Mountain Push LB. 2. Exclusive Skills. Bayonet Skills LB. 2. Camouflage LB. 2. Patience LB. 1. Sense of Justice LB. 2. Weapons Training LB. 3. Plus. The evolution of Lee Hunsung was successful. Strictly speaking, it was just the start. But the fact that Lee Hunsung could use Great Mountain Smash would quickly enhance the power of the party. Hunsung SSI, how many more times can you use it? Probably once or twice more. Lee Hunsung was gasping for breath and obviously quite worn out. It was natural. The Great Mountain Smash Stigma was an ultimate skill that consumed a tremendous amount of stamina and magic power. There weren't many skills that exceeded Great Mountain Smash when it came to pure physical force among the physical reinforcement type skills. The group of people scattered all over the place seemed to be running in this direction. I asked you Senga who was running in the front. Was there anywhere you couldn't break? I broke both of them. I didn't realize the rooms could be broken like this. We banged hard on the ground together and it smashed. Yung Hiwan followed. Yu Senga, Yung Hiwan and Lee Gilyoung took out the small green zones. Most of the green zones fit three or fewer people, apart from Gong Pildu's green zone. There was some was an ambiguous scale but there was a separate person handling those. Hey, can't you hear me? What are you going to do now? On the other hand, Bi Hyung was still shouting across the Dokabi communication. What are you worried about? Have you forgotten? I don't have the only channel in Chungmuro. Do you really not know what will happen if you do this? Of course I knew. Maybe the constellations in the channel with Gong Pildu would be in a frenzy right now. What channel is Gong Pildu in? Beer Yu's channel. Beer 3642. Beer Yu is the one who came while you were busy for a bit. That's right. That asshole. How is his subscription configured? It is the flagship channel for the Finding Amusement group. The Dakabus whose main purpose was to find amusement. That's why their broadcasts were radical. Great. Then the response within the channel would be much hotter than expected. Everyone would have eaten the sweet potatoes properly. I headed down the stairs of the transfer corridor to line 4 and saw a welcome face. The blade was moving through the air. You broke them. Yes. It was easy. Lee Jaihai's role was to take out the green zones that contained 5 to 8 people. It was a task that Yung Hiwan would find hard to do alone. Indeed, she was Yu Jong Hyuk's disciple and was the incarnation of the sage hero. Now there were no more green zones left in Chungyuro. Now what? Those jerks will come running wildly. Ah, there they are. Lee Jaihai's expression twisted as she looked behind me. I'm not going to help you this time. I don't need it. Yung Hee Won scowled as she watched Lee Jaihee retreating. What is with her? Come to think of it, Yung Hee Won didn't know about Lee Jaihee. But there was no time to tell her. Ha ha, you are fucked now. A message was heard along with Bi Hyung's words. A bounty scenario has occurred. Plus. Bounty scenario, assassination commission. Category. Sub. Difficulty. C. Clear conditions. The constellations of channel hash beer 3642 have requested to kill a certain person. Please kill, Kim Dokya, of Chungyuro Station. Time limit. 10 minutes. Compensation. 2000 coins. Failure. None. Plus. I thought this situation would unfold. It was going to be a lot of fun. Now all the incarnations in the region would gather on the platform of Line 3 to catch me. Yung Hiwan asked by his side. I will receive 2000 coins if I kill Dokya SSI right now. Why, are you going to kill me? I, perhaps. If you give me 200,000 coins then I don't know. Does this girl know how much 200,000 coins were worth? Dokya SSI. Go behind me. Lee Hunsung stepped out ahead of me. Yung Hiwan stayed beside me while Yu Sangha and Lee Gilyoung moved to block any access. It was a defense formed around me. Yung Hiwan smiled. Now I can pay back my debt. Dokya SSI, we'll try to block it somehow. There were people showing hostility around us. The angry landowners and the tenants were blinded by the bounty quest. I watched Lee Gilyoung holding the weapon and opened my mouth. Don't be nervous. I lightly stroked Lee Gilyoung's shoulder and moved towards the railway tracks. We don't have to fight them. It was a few turns. 
I had read about such a scene. I didn't have time to check which regression it was but Yu Jong Hyuk had destroyed the green zones as soon as he arrived at Chungyuro. Even then, it was like the current situation. All green zones in this region have been destroyed and the main scenario has collapsed. The difficulty is automatically adjusted according to the remaining schedule of the scenario. The scenario content is updated. Plus. Main scenario number 3 Emergency Defense. Category. Main. Difficulty. B. Clear conditions. All the green zones in the region are destroyed and the monsters that were going to be created in the remaining days have suddenly run wild. Survive against the flood of monsters for the remaining time. Duration. 8 hours. Compensation. 1000 coins. Failure. Plus. Originally, there were three days remaining in the scenario. Now the monsters supposed to be created during the remaining time of the green zone scenario would emerge all at once. In other words, it was simple. The emergency defense has begun. The defense game had started. W what? The people approaching me started screaming. The cries of monsters were heard from outside the screen door. The feast of monsters moved like an angry wave. Crazy. What the hell is this? The platform of line 3 quickly became a mess. The faces of the people became speculative as they watched the monsters coming from all sides. The bounty scenario was completely forgotten about. Grr. A few grolls ran and bit some of the alliance members. The upset people were shouting. Now was the only chance. I shouted to my party. Go to the transfer route. I started jumping up the transit stairs with my friends. By the time we reached the upper level, people were blocking the path. What? Get out of the way. Do you want to fall? I kicked some of the followers and pulled out a blade. The people were surprised by the white pure star energy blade and backed away. You haven't grasped the situation yet. W what? Even if you come up, you won't be able to survive. There was a sense of despair in the expressions of the people. There were no more rooms. Now there were no more safe zones from the monsters in Chungyuro. What should we do? What else? Fight. Don't speak crazy words. This is all because of you. If you hadn't broken our rooms. I triggered the blade of faith and used it on the transfer stairs. Kururung. A walk. The center of the staircase fell with a large sound, along with the people. It was cruel but necessary. Crazy. Quickly find another staircase. Quickly. Well, I don't think it would happen. Lee Hunsung was already running. I smashed the transit stairs we came up on and there was only one. Staircase remaining. Subsequently, the sound of arguing and something breaking was heard on the other side. Shit. Wah. The cries of the people trapped on the platform of line 3 were heard. Lee Jaihe approached me and asked. A juicy. This isn't what you told me. If you leave it like this. I know. I looked at the lower floor that was becoming pandemonium. If I left it like this, they would all be killed. Whether it was from the monsters or using each other's bodies is a stepping stone to come upstairs. This wasn't what I wanted. The exclusive skill, bookmark, can now be activated. Character bookmarks is activated. Available bookmark slots. 3. Bringing up the list of available bookmarks. People listed in the bookmark slots. The Delusion Demon Kim Namun, Understanding 35. Steel Sword Lee Hunsung, Understanding 65. Demagogue Chian Inyo, Understanding 20. I activated the third bookmark. The number 3 bookmark has been activated. The level of the bookmark skill is low, shortening the activation time. Activation time. 5 minutes. Your understanding of the character is low, so only a part of the character's skill is activated. And Sight LB.2 has been activated. Suddenly, it felt like my tongue was coming alive on its own. This was how Chian Inyo felt. I looked downstairs. In the middle of the mess, I could see a middle-aged man. Hey Gong Pildu. How long are you going to stand there? Gong Pildu glared at me. This dog. Don't you have to act in order to live? If you move, everyone else can live. The power of insight permeated the ears of all the frightened people. P. Pildu SSI. P. Pildu SSI, please save us. Gong Pildu's expression distorted. I felt good. This was what Chian Inyo would have felt at Gumho Station. The third scenario isn't as hard as you think. Once everyone gives up on the rooms and participates in the defense, there are enough people to handle the monsters. My words were half true. If Chungmuro had united before I arrived here, there would be far less victims. After all, the biggest pitfall of this scenario was the green zone. If Gong Pildu fights with the people, you can survive. Those who fight together would survive, those who ran away would die. The sponsor behind Lee Jaihe agrees with your wisdom. The constellation, Maritime War God, nods his head. Now there are no rooms for you to run away to. 
Forget about whether you are a landlord or tenant and fight, or you will all die. The more urgent the situation was, the more the effect of insight would increase. Damn, this fucking guy. Pildu SSI, please help us. The alliance members gathered around Gong Pildu. If he ran away here alone, Gong Pildu's landlord alliance would collapse. In the end Gong Pildu made his decision. Damn it, everybody gather here. The people downstairs started gathering around Gong Pildu. I need time to install a new arm zone. Everybody just hang on. The key was Gong Pildu's arm zone. However, the weak point was that arm zone took time to install every time it moved. Blood splattered everywhere and people screamed as their limbs were torn off. Og. As expected, the first ones who abandoned the formation were the tenants, not the alliance members. You Senga SSI. Yes. Please leave it to me. I didn't need to explain it. You Senga already understood what she needed to do. Her binding thread stretched out and started to rescue the people who couldn't fight anymore. In any case, their mission was to buy time for Gong Pildu to deploy arm zone. You uh, T thank you. The tenants hung from the thread and were pulled upstairs. The rescued tenants were shaking as they wrapped up their injured area. In the meantime, some of the people with weapons carefully looked at me. I smiled at them and said, Oh, do you want the bounty? The time limit for the bounty scenario has expired. The bounty hanging on Kim Dokya has been destroyed. Sorry, it is too late. I am sorry. The tenants seemed ashamed as they put away their weapons. I heard Gong Pildu's voice roaring from the bottom. Out of the way. The character, Gong Pildu, has used Arm Zone LB. 3. The character, Gong Pildu, has activated, Arm Zone LB. 4. There was a mechanical sound as five turrets rose from the ground. The red magic bullets condensed in a short time and started firing. Do 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 do. Kwong. 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 The ground rats screamed as they were hit by the bombardment of magic bullets while the grolls came to a halt. The group of people cried out. As expected of Pildu SSI. Wah. It was truly Gong Pildu. In a defense type scenario, there was no incarnation that surpassed a player's combat effectiveness. The ten evils weren't called that for nothing. All of you damn scum disappear. The agitated Gong Pildu randomly fired. Lee Hunsung spoke with admiration. It is a really tremendous stigma. Is it okay when the magic power consumption is so big? It is a good stigma so it will be okay for a while. Should we help? Gong Pildu alone is sufficient. If we do down then he will be distracted and stop shooting. The defense master sponsor behind Gong Pildu was completely suited for this type of scenario. As long as he supported Gong Pildu, Gong Pildu wouldn't die here. As long as the sponsorship continued. I sat down and stretched out my legs. We will be sucking honey for a while. Is it time for personal maintenance already? Lee Hunsung sat down with me and the party members started to relax one by one. Young Hee-won asked. Thank you. I didn't get enough sleep, can I sleep now? Yes. Ten minutes later, Young Hee-won was lying on the ground and snoring. I said yes but I really didn't know how she could sleep so easily. Aren't we too easy going? Yu Sangha sounded concerned. Indeed, it would be confusing. There wasn't a scenario like this so far. In fact, all we did was survive the brink of a crisis. Think of it as standing on the right line. Then over there, they got the wrong line. The confusion on the lower level had almost died down because of Gong Pildu. Do 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 do. Awa. He should have lived a better life. Fuck. Fuakers. In the midst of the endless procession of monsters, Gong Pildu's screams echoed. Chapter 35. Episode 8 Emergency Defense 4. One hour after the battle began, Gong Pildu fought and fought. The number of monsters had barely decreased but it was still great. Gong Pildu was considered to have the strongest defense among the ten evils for a reason. You scum. The character Gong Pildu's arm zone has leveled up. The character Gong Pildu's private land has leveled up. The character Gong Pildu has acquired the protective wall skill. The level up speed of arm zone was fast. The sponsor behind Gong Pildu was rushing to support his growth. If he could survive here, Gong Pildu's growth would be enormous. As long as he could survive here. Ooey. According to the scenario, Gong Pildu had to hold on for seven more hours. It would have been nice if I had popcorn. Too bad. Lee Jaihee was giggling next to me as she watched the bottom floor. She told me earlier that I should save them, it was truly a transformation in the disposition of Yu Jong Hyuk's disciple. By the way, why isn't Yu Jong Hyuk here? How should I know? Master is always busy. Busy? Yes, he might be busy. The person trying to be all alone was the busiest. I looked down at the dying Gong Pildu as I asked, what time did Yu Jong Hyuk enter the dungeon? 
It is roughly 9 a.m. today, Li Jiehe stopped speaking and stared at me. Wait a minute, how do you know that master entered a dungeon? I ignored Li Jiehe and calculated the time. Now it was 8 p.m. Using simple calculations, it had already been over 11 hours since Yu Jonghyuk entered. Yet he still hadn't come out. Damn, I had to move. Yu Jonghyuk was the main character and it would be difficult if something happened to him. I opened the Dokabi communication. Bihyung. Bihyung floating in the air turned to look at me. What is it? Calling Misa suddenly. Open the Dokabi bag. What? And no. I am currently getting a lot of subscriptions. I know. My stock price was rising due to my actions with Gong Pildu. My actions of laying a trap and then sitting back meant the constellations of the fun seekers group wouldn't still be on the channel which Gong Pildu belonged to. Where would the constellations go after leaving the channel? New constellations have entered the channel. It was naturally Bi Young's channel. Hash by dash 7623 channel is ready for an expansion. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo hut, look at this, look at this. Now my channel is also. It wasn't unreasonable for Bi Young to be acting like this. But this wasn't the time for amusement. If you don't want your channel to be ruined, open it quickly. You can see that there will be an advertisement in preparation for the channel expansion. Ah, shit, really. Bi Young grumbled but opened the Dokabi bag after showing an advertisement. It was finally time to use the coins I had saved. I'll give you 5,000 coins. Upgrade me to a gold member. Bi Young stared at me quietly inside. It was followed by system messages. 5,000 coins have been consumed. Congratulations. You have become a gold member of the Dokabi bag. My member rating changed and the background of the Dokabi bag also changed. Coins were really good. New item listings were added. I put the necessary items into the shopping cart. Asterisk behind the scenes contract 10,000 C. Asterisk intermediate magic power recovery potion X10 5,000 C. One contract and 10 intermediate potions, this should be enough. The spending was a bit big but the channel was going to be expanded. It wouldn't be long before I recovered it. Bi Young was nervous when he saw the items I bought. Why is there a contract? Have you already forgotten the terms? You can't have a sponsor. What do you mean? Why would I get a sponsor now? Even, if I was doing that, why would I buy the contract with my own coins? At any rate, this Bi Young still needed a lot of work. 15,000 coins have been consumed. A uh, behind the scenes contract has been acquired. 10 intermediate magic power recovery potions have been acquired. Yu Sangha showed curiosity when the items appeared out of thin air. What is that? A contract to make a gap and aul. I filled out the contract carefully, wrote my name in the gap section and waited quietly. It was time for the aul to come. The sponsor for character, Gong Pildu, is asking for help from nearby constellations. Finally, the sponsor behind Gong Pildu reached his limits and started sending messages outside the channel. It was natural since the sponsor didn't have many coins in the first place. Not everybody was rich just because they were a constellation. The constellation, prisoner of the golden headband, scoffs. The other constellations in Gong Pildu's channel would have stopped sponsoring and the incarnation was dying, everything was going according to plan. Bi Hyung noticed something and muttered. Wait a minute, surely you aren't. I talked towards Gong Pildu, who was in a half-dead state. Hey, you over there. Do 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 do. Gong Pildu fired crazily and looked up at me while breathing heavily. Will you die like this or will you sign a contract with me? W what? I'm not a constellation so I can't be a sponsor. But if you want, I can be a person behind the scenes. How about it? What is this bastard talking about? Gong Pildu, shut up. I'm not talking to you. What? I waved the contract in one hand and the intermediate magic power recovery potion in the other hand. Answer quickly. I will give these items to you if you sign with me. A message window flashed in front of me. The sponsor behind character, Gong Pildu, has revealed himself. The constellation, Defense Master, is looking at you like you are crazy. Indeed, he wasn't yet ready to be an Aeol. Don't worry, he would be in a hurry as time passed. Bi Hyung was watching me. You, are you crazy? This one as well. You are the first to try and support a constellation. I can't do it. This is a constellation. Will it sign with an insignificant human? That is just your thoughts. The intermediate constellation, Defense Master. He was a low level constellation compared to his ability. His world had long become a scenario, and was completely destroyed. Therefore, the Defense Master's myth was no longer discussed. The myth had disappeared and the constellation couldn't get coins. 
One day, even his existence would disappear. That's why some constellations, including the Defense Master, were obsessed with looking for an incarnation. The constellations were remembered in the world through their chosen incarnation. That guy, he doesn't have any coins left. What? Gong Pildu's power had fallen sharply compared to before. Unlike the monarch of the small frieze, the defense master was someone who cared about his incarnation. The fact that Gong Pildu was going to die meant he had run out of coins. It was obvious but without coins, a new sponsor contract was impossible. Then what happened to a constellation who couldn't create a new incarnation? Once Gong Pildu dies, that guy will be forgotten. For a constellation, being forgotten meant death. Faint fear filled Bi Hyung's eyes. You are. Gong Pildu was a great card if I could afford it. Even Yu Jong Hyuk had attempted to subjugate Gong Pildu several times in countless regressions. Of course, he had never been successful. Yu Sangha spoke. Dokya SSI, that person will die. Gong Pildu was biting his lips so hard. That blood was flowing. Now there were only two mini turrets left in arm zone. It was time to end this. The constellation, defense master, is wondering about the contents of the contract. He was coming. Bi Hyung's eyes widened at the sight in front of him. Really? No, is this real? I showed the contract immediately. The constellation, defense master, has started reading the contract. Gong Pildu, who was shedding blood on the lower floor, suddenly shouted. He had probably heard a message from his sponsor. W what? What is this message? What? He was being sold. W what is going on Pildu SSI? The constellation, defense master, is asking for some time to think. After a while, I heard some good news. The constellation, defense master, has added a condition to the contract. If you agree with this condition, the constellation, defense master, will agree to contract with you. I immediately read the contract. Ellipsis ellipsis dot. 14. Incarnation Kim Dokya Gap recognizes the property rights of Constellation Defense Master Aeol and should ensure the survival of Gong Pildu. 15. Incarnation Kim Dokya Gap should help Constellation Defense Master Aeol so that his private property, Gong Pildu, grows well. Ellipsis ellipsis dot. Guaranteeing Gong Pildu's life and his growth. In fact, this didn't need to be included. It was natural for Gong Pildu not to die if the contract was signed. The only thing that mattered for me was the third condition. 3. Incarnation Kim Dokya Gap has a command authority over Gong Pildu, the private property of Constellation Defense Master up to 10 times a day. I checked the contract and nodded. I will sign the contract. Before long, a faint thread connected me and Gong Pildu. Then system messages were heard. The contract has been completed. You have become the co-sponsor of Gong Pildu due to the contract. Due to the contract, you have been given the right to command incarnation, Gong Pildu. The duration of the contract is five years and it won't be automatically renewed. Yu Jong Hyuk would be stunned if he knew that Gong Pildu could be obtained so easily. If I hadn't read to the latter half of Ways of Survival, I wouldn't have known to use the behind the scenes contract this way. I handed the recovery potions to Yu Sangha. Give this to Gong Pildu. You should give him one every 40 minutes. It is okay to give to him. She had to give it. If not, this main scenario wouldn't be cleared. Gong Pildu was confused after Yu Sangha handed him a potion. What is this? Drink it and fight. Gong Pildu was suspicious for a moment but soon opened the potion's lid. Blue smoke emerged around his body and the destroyed turrets returned to their original appearance. The character, Gong Pildu, has completely recovered his magic power. Gong Pildu wiped the potion stained lips and looked up at me. Stupid guy. Do you think I will forgive you because of this? Once I get out of here, it will be your end. Shut up, Gong Pildu. Under the terms of the contract, command rights, is activated. Oh oof. Oof oof oof. Poor guy, he didn't even know what situation he was in. Fight hard. Don't touch my party members. Hup. Oof oof. Do 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 do. Yu Sangha's eyes widened when she saw Gong Pildu listen to my orders. Dokya SSI. Why is that person? I made a gap into an aeol. Did you write something? Now you can rest assured about Gong Pildu. Then the bombardment of messages from the constellations poured out. The constellation, secretive plotter, finds your idea interesting. The constellation, prisoner of the golden headband, has dropped his stick at your strategy. The constellation, abyssal black flame. Dragon, thinks that you are impudent. Ellipsis ellipsis. I had secretly signed the contract but these guys already noticed. The defense master was only intermediate level but he was still a constellation. 
a mere human became a co-sponsor with a constellation, the impact on the constellations would be enormous. There would be a backlash among those like the abyssal black flame dragon. But, many constellations are paying attention to you. A number of constellations want to become your sponsor. The constellations who realized my value were overwhelmingly larger. If they became my sponsor, they would be able to use the power of Defense Master. Then the owner of Gong Pildu's channel, Dokabi Biryu appeared in the air. Constellations. W.Y., are you suddenly leaving? D. Don't go. Just wait a little longer. Biryu, whose channel was being ruined, made a desperate appeal. It was the Dokabi who created the food penalty and, survival cost, in Gumho Station. H. Hiak. And no. Dokabi Biryu gradually blurred and disappeared. Channel hash beer 3642 has been forced to leave after having the subscriptions reduced. Bi Hyung muttered in a trembling voice after seeing one channel falling to ruin. Excuse me, Dokya Nim. What is it? You, were you aiming for Gong Pildu from the beginning? I shrugged. Crazy, human, what human did I sign with? Bi Hyung couldn't close his mouth. I didn't care. This place was organized and I needed to move on to the next place. I spoke to the bewildered party members who still hadn't grasped the situation. Everyone. I'm sorry but I have to leave for a while. Huh. Now. There is a place I urgently need to go to. Hunsung SSI and Yu Senga SSI, please stay here. You don't have to do anything. Just throw Pildu a potion until the end of the scenario and relax. Young Hiwan asked, what about Gilyoung and I? You will come with me. To where? Um, it is hard to explain but there is a bad guy. A bad guy, yes. A bad person who disappeared to eat items alone, regardless if people die or not. From now on, I am going to hit him in the back of the head. It was very hard. Young Hee Won thought for a moment before asking. Is he worse than Gong Pildu? I contemplated for a moment before replying. He is much worse. Then let's go. I'll explain the details later. I moved with Young Hee Won and Lee Gilyoung. Then somebody grabbed my shoulder. It was Lee Jaehee. Wait, where are you going right now? In any case, this was good. Great. You can come along. Where are you going? Yu Jong Hyuk is in danger. Lee Jaehee laughed like she thought I was joking. What nonsense are you saying? Master is in danger. My expression remained serious and Lee Jaehee's laughter soon disappeared. Are you serious? No, how do you know this? How did I know? Perhaps I was the world's foremost, no the second highest authority who knew her master. I checked the time. That jerk, he went to the hidden dungeon at exit 1. You uh, and it has been 11 hours since he entered. Uh, Lee Jaehee spoke blankly. I remembered that Yu Jonghyuk, had attacked Chung Yuro's, hidden dungeon, a total of 8 years. He failed twice and succeeded 6 times. The problem was that the two failures were concentrated in his early regressions. The 8th turn and the 11th turn. During the 8th regression, Yu Jonghyuk died in Chung Yuro's hidden dungeon. But the current Yu Jonghyuk was, the 3rd turn. At this rate, Yu Jonghyuk will die today. If my guess was right, our damn regressor would be on the, sunfish route. TL note, seems to be based on the game, survive. Mola Mola, where you have to make a sunfish survive troubles in the sea. But the sunfish gets, started and dies because of almost anything. Chapter 36, Episode 9 Omniscient Sunfish 1. After a while, we moved towards the entrance of the, hidden dungeon, on the first underground floor. I walked behind Lee Jaehee, Lee Gilyoung and Yung Hee Won while looking at my smartphone. In the midst of the splitting headache, Yu Jong Hyuk came to his senses. Give up on this life. This was the end of Yu Jong Hyuk's eighth life. It couldn't be. This hadn't happened yet. Shit, why was this guy doing this on only the third life? If he moved carefully like his second life, he would have passed through the mid to late scenarios. I raised my eyes to see Yung Hee Won looking at me. Dokya SSI, what are you looking at? Ah, the calendar, this situation has made me lose my sense of the date. I actually thought it might be more interesting to look at the calendar. Sometimes I wondered how I finished reading this novel. Young Hee Won looked at me suspiciously before turning her head towards Lee Jaehee. Then, did you say your name was Jaehee? Do you also use a sword? Yes, I like the sword. Right, the sword is the best. It has a good taste. Uni also knows the taste. Young Hee Won smiled as she watched Lee Jai Hai's sword. It was a luxurious sword that obviously flowed smoothly. Maybe it was given by Yu Jong Hyuk. Your sword looks good. Ah, master gave it to me. Uni, my one, I I like mine as well. Young Hee Won looked down at the Grohl horn blade and then sneaked a peek at the sword on the other person's waist. 
I didn't do anything wrong but I couldn't help feeling sorry. I had no choice but to hang something on Lee Jaihee. Hey, why are you talking to Hiwan SSI but ignoring me? Uh, that, I'm a bit weak to older females. Lee Jaihee responded with a quivering voice and Young Hiwan gave her a headlock, as if Lee Jaihee was cute. There seemed to be a connection between the, demon slayers. Lee Jaihee barely escaped from the headlock and asked. By the way, why are you rescuing master? We are companions. Don't talk nonsense. He is a useful guy. You sound like master. The constellation, secretive plotter, is wondering about your heart. Come to think of it, it wasn't just Lee Jaihee but the constellations as well who must be wondering about my actions. He was a guy who would kill me if he got a chance. It was strange that I would run to save him. The constellation, demon-like judge of fire, likes your desire to rehabilitate a fallen friend. 100 coins have been sponsored. This one misunderstood me. But the demon-like judge of fire, unlike the expectations of the Archangel Uriel, I had a deeply personal reason for saving Yu Jonghyuk. It was to prevent him from, regressing, after his death. Regression after death. It sounded good. A, uh, regression stigma, that triggered every time you died. The protagonist had a fraudulent ability. The problem was that this ability invoked complicated thoughts in the surrounding cast. By the way, what happens to the world after you return? A supporting actor had asked this of Yu Jonghyuk when Yu Jonghyuk's number of lives had broken into the double digits. I forgot his name but Yu Jonghyuk's answer from that time was clear. I also don't know. I always choose a world where more people can live. It was plausible but in fact, Yu Jonghyuk didn't know about the world he abandoned. In face, there was no definite theory about what happened to the world and ways of survival. Science, magic, whatever. This was why I was anxious. What happened to the world after the regressor disappeared? Would it reset with the regression? Or would a parallel universe branch off? The latter would be fortunate, but if it was the former, hung, ah, yes, Lee Gilyoung, who was holding the hem of my clothes, looked up at me with anxious eyes. I think we're here. You are approaching the outside region. Be careful not to leave the scenario area. This message popped up. It didn't matter. Chungmuro's hidden dungeon was treated as an inside area. We turned the corner and exit one appeared. A dungeon entrance with an ominous shade greeted us. You have found a hidden dungeon. This dungeon has already been discovered by someone. You can't get the first discovery achievement. A new hidden scenario has arrived. Plus. Hidden scenario. Theater dungeon. Category. Hidden. Difficulty. A. Uh, clear conditions. Defeat the master of theater dungeon. Time limit. None. Compensation. 4,000 coins. Failure. Plus. The surprised Lee Jaihee hesitated and stepped back. What is this? Theater dungeon. Lee Gilyoung looked startled. Well, this must be the first time they encountered a hidden scenario. Young Hee-won also spoke. A movie theater is a dungeon, it sounds romantic. Romantic. This was only because she didn't know how scary the movie theater could be. We entered the theater. The familiar lobby of the multiplex welcomed us. You have entered theater dungeon. We were tense as we entered the bleak dungeon. It was a multiplex consisting of nine floors, from B1 to the eighth floor. Hung, the posters are torn. Who would do that? I'm not sure. I said this but I actually knew the truth. The core of this, theater dungeon, were the, posters, on the wall. Perhaps Yu Jonghyuk defeated every poster as he went upstairs. His intentions were to sweep up all the rewards. Except for the torn posters, nothing strange was found on B1. There were no items and no monsters. The only exception was the smashed elevator in one corner with a distarted door. Lee Jaihee asked. Isn't this a dungeon? Why isn't there anything? Something will appear. Do you know something? A little. How? Something is fishy about a juicy. Is this your second life? That was her master. But he had lived three times. Then Young Hee-won said, it is due to the sponsor behind Dokya SSI. Really? I ignored the two women and tried to move to the ground floor when I was caught by Lee Gilyoung. The cockroach on his head was moving wildly. Lee Jaihee drew her sword at almost the same moment I covered her mouth with a hand. Shish, there is somebody else besides us. I breathed out while small sounds started to be heard. Just upstairs. Then, the lobby. I first thought it was Yu Jonghyuk but it wasn't Yu Jonghyuk's voice. Are you sure? Here, there are a bunch of things. Yes. I bought the information with 1000 coins. The profits. Yes. They are disgusting but the information is obvious. I heard the sound of people talking. We went up the escalator and approached them. It seemed that four people were gathered in the lobby on the first floor. Lee Jaihee whispered, who are they? 
I never once saw their faces in Chungyuro. Maybe they came from the ground side entrance. Ground side. Isn't that filled with poisonous fog? Furthermore, the scenario. Different stations have different scenarios at different speeds. There are those who have finished the scenario faster than our station. If there is a weak poisoning, they can eat the meat from the underground species. I said this but I was confused. Prophets. There was no information about such people in Yu Jong Hyuk's life. At this point, Yu Jong Hyuk and I should be the only ones who knew about the hidden dungeon. What caused the variables? Needless to say, I needed to find out. Then let's go inside. A blue spotlight was floating above the men talking. A bright light surrounded them and then they disappeared. What happened to them? Young Hee Won asked me but I didn't answer. Instead, I was searching the posters on the wall. This was torn, that is well, by the time I reached the end of the wall, only one wasn't torn. I read the words written on the poster. Steven Spielberg, Samuel L. Jackson, Jeff Goldblum. That bastard Yu Jong Hyuk, he left this one alone. As expected from the third regression. At that moment, the light came on again. This time, the spotlight was aimed on us. The surprised Lee Jai Hee and Lee Gilyoung stepped back, but there was no way to avoid it. The word, Ray, suited it. I asked Young Hee Won, Hee Won SSI likes movies. Of course. Do you usually like it? You might hate it after this. What do you? You have been hit by a projection light. The screening will begin. The surrounding landscape started to slowly change. It wasn't a simple illusion so fourth wall wasn't activated as before. The old linoleum floor became covered with green bushes, while the reception desk and popcorn stand turned into a lush rainforest. The ceiling turned into a blue sky with no clouds and no end in sight. Lee Ji Hai muttered in a small voice. Where the hell is this place? Lee Jaihee shouted and hacked at the surrounding trees and bushes, but nothing changed. Lee Gilyoung started looking for insects with a calm expression. I tried to touch the nearby trees. It had a hard and moist texture. It was a real rainforest from the Mesozoic era. This was a different realism from the Spectre's welcome prison. This was the power of the theater master on the dungeon's eighth floor. It is a movie. Really ridiculous things are happening. A novel had become reality. There was no law that a movie couldn't become reality as well. Young Hee Won was a fast adapter and quickly understood. A juicy, what movie is this? You'll know soon. Can't you just let me know? Wait a minute, what is this kid doing? At this moment, the shrubbery moved and something jumped out in front of Lee Gilyoung. An insect that resembled a giant praying mantis. The size was approximately 40 centimeters. Lee Jaihee was terrified and cried out. Hey kid, back away. However, Lee Gilyoung responded calmly to the fuss. It isn't a praying mantis. It is a Titanoptera from the Triassic period. What? Lee Gilyoung stretched out his hand to the Titano. The insect didn't refuse the touch and after a moment, Lee Gilyoung and the insect's body was wrapped in a blue light. Lee Jaihee watched with a stupid expression. This, what? Fabre. It really was good that I brought Lee Gilyoung. This guy's ability might allow us to pass through the gateway more easily. The giant praying mantis moved its big mouth and Lee Gilyoung nodded. I didn't know what it involved but they were having a conversation. After a while, Lee Gilyoung paled as he talked to the praying mantis. What was it? Lee Gilyoung hurriedly turned to me. Hung. As he spoke, the sound of the earth shaking was heard. It seemed that something was coming at a tremendous speed, smashing the huge palm trees. Clue. The muzzle of the giant reptile that appeared through the rainforest was covered with reddish blood. Some bloody men were running in front of it. It was the men who entered before us. Kuik. S. Save me. Lee Jaihee stepped back and spoke to Young Hee Won. I know what movie this is. Yes, me too. A body that was over a dozen meters tall and hard skin. Fierce muscles dominated the entire body. The strongest predator of the Mesozoic era was in front of us. At first glance, it was similar to a grade 7 monster. The difficulty level was atrocious considering this was the first floor of the dungeon. But my heart just thumped. The harder the hidden dungeon, the better the reward. I pulled out a blade and said, get ready to fight. Maybe Yu Jong Hyuk skipped only this movie because of the contents. The main reward of Theater Dungeon was related to the movie contents. Yu Jong Hyuk probably thought there weren't any worthy rewards in a movie where dinosaurs appeared. But he didn't know. In this movie, a really important reward was hidden. Are you serious? We are going to fight that. We need to beat it to make an exit. The exit. It is a long movie. Have you forgotten? A T-Rex was approaching quickly. The island's central laboratory was seen behind it and an escape helicopter was on the rooftop of the laboratory. This was a movie. A movie that the master of theater dungeon made into reality.
Therefore, there was only one way to escape from here. Let's make a great ending. Chapter 37. Episode 9 Omniscient Sunfish 2. The moment the yellow eyes looked at us, a deafening roar echoed in our ears. Clue. The seventh grade, Tyrannosaurus Rex has recognized you. The, Tyrannosaurus Rex, has triggered the, fear the predator, skill. The exclusive skill fourth wall has blocked the effect of the, fear the predator, skill. My mind is calm thanks to fourth wall, but I could stop the chills that occurred. This was the fear towards a predator. Everyone, get out of the way. The petrified Young Hee-won and Lee Jai-hee regained their spirits. I fell back with Lee Gil-young beside me. K-W-A-K-W-A-K-W-A-K-W-A. A long tail flew through the forest in front of us. Kuik. The men who were running fell on the backs and coughed up blood. Fortunately, Young Hee-won and Lee Jai-hee were away from the danger zone. I shouted to Lee Gil-young lying down next to me. Gil-young fall back, while Hee-won SSI and Jai-hee SSI scatter to the left and right. Then a message popped up. The character, Lee Gil-young, has activated the, dinosaur book, skill. Huh. Tyrannosaurus are agile compared to their size, but they are vulnerable due to their narrow field of view. What? I saw it in a book when I was a child. When you were a child. Younger than I am now. I stared blankly at Lee Gil-young. This wasn't the time to tackle it. Clue. The exclusive skill, white pure star energy, has been activated. I started waving the iridescent blade to attract the attention of the T-Rex. Lee Jaihee and Young Hee Wan weren't tankers. I didn't even need to mention Lee Gil Young. Therefore, I was the only one who could take the risk here. While I draw its attention, attack its rear. I hadn't finished talking when I saw Lee Jaihee and Young Hee Wan already at the T-Rex's rear. They noticed quickly. Clue. I barely avoided the incoming teeth and the stomping legs. Before I could wield unbroken faith, its tail passed over my head. An electrifying thrill swept over my body. I wouldn't die because my stamina was over level 20, but it was dizzying. Maybe I had been lucky until now. I might be the, sunfish, rather than Yu Jonghyuk. Sukuk. Supaik. Meanwhile, Yung Hee-won and Lee Jai-hee was steadily dealing damage from the rear. It was a combination of, sword training, and, kendo. Noticeable sword wounds were being dealt to the T-Rex's big legs. If this continued, it might take some time but the T-Rex would be defeated. Hung. I'll draw its attention. The boy didn't listen to me about staying in the rear. No, Gilyoung Yu. I can do it. All of a sudden, Lee Gilyoung came forward and started to make an unknown signal. I wanted to say something. Then a huge praying mantis came from somewhere, stabbed the T-Rex's eyes and fled. It was the Titano that Lee Gilyoung had been talking to before. Clue. The T-Rex's eyes moved confusedly as it followed the praying mantis that disturbed its vision. Lee Gilyoung used dazzling hand movements to control the praying mantis. I looked at Lee Gilyoung with a fresh mindset. Wasn't this guy actually a hugely fraudulent character? No wonder why Yu Jonghyuk coveted him. Kuwu. Thanks to Lee Gilyoung's success, the battlefield quickly became advantageous. The T-Rex's movements became duller while a red light shone in Yung Hee Wan and Lee Jai Hai's eyes. Demon Slayer. It made them vulnerable to mental attacks but it was a good skill that made them stronger when they were excited. The sight of the two women's eyes burning as they watched the rainforest was truly spectacular. It was a pity that I had lost Lee Jaihee to Yu Jonghyuk. However, Yung Hee Wan also had overwhelming growth potential. Judge of Destruction was a good attribute. And she didn't have a sponsor yet. It felt like the T-Rex's stamina had decreased considerably. It was time to deal the final blow. Blade of Faith is activated. I started to focus my remaining magic power. I didn't have a sponsor, nor was I as fast as Young Hee Wan or Lee Jai Hee. But that didn't mean my attack power was weak. I had a fraudulent system that overcame all of this. Clue. Ether Blade. The special option of Unbroken Faith is activated. The ether property is converted to, fire. An enormous amount of magic power was sucked in and my physical fatigue became extreme. But I didn't mind because there was a way to supplement it later. The blade increased by one meter and was surrounded by flames. I ran to the rear of the Tyrannosaurus. Everybody out of the way. The moment that the Tyrannosaurus hesitated and its movements slowed, I climbed its tail. I almost fell over a few times because I didn't have the sense of balance, but I somehow held on by stabbing the blade into the epidermis. Clue. The T-Rex poured out blood and its body rolled across the ground. I rammed the blade in wherever I could. Flames poured into the wounds caused by the blade. The yellow eyes of the T-Rex stared at me as it gasped painfully, before finally dying. 
You have succeeded in being the first to hunt the seventh grade species, Tyrannosaurus rex. You have obtained 1,000 coins as compensation. Ah, we really got it. I knew we could do it. Young Hiwan breathed heavily as she spoke with a proud expression on her face. She could be proud because the T-Rex was top-ranked among the seventh grade monsters. Li Jiehe belatedly rushed towards me. I had it. What? It would have taken a long time if you continued hitting it like that. I wiped off my sword while speaking. Young Hiwan asked. But was a Tyrannosaurus killed in this movie? No but isn't this more fun? Huh. The genre is fantasy, action and adventure. This should be enough. At this moment, a system message flashed in my head. The theater owner is satisfied with the changed ending of the movie. Young Hiwan screamed like it was absurd. Eek. Yes. The strategy of Theater Dungeon wasn't to see the, real ending. If so, Yu Jong Hyuk wouldn't have been able to beat this dungeon. It was to create the desired ending for the, theater master, at the core of this dungeon. Please note that the theater owner was an extreme psychopath. Do you understand now? We just need to smash it. In other words, if we removed all the obstacles to the ending, the movie would end naturally. Now you can move to the next floor. Go to the helipad on top of the research laboratory. We will move in a little while. We have to get some rewards. I started exploring the area around the T-Red. Soon after, I found one of the guys who entered before us. The rest were eaten or mutilated by the T-Rex. Hey, wake up. You you woo. Blood was constantly flowing from the man. The wounds were from the T-Rex's claws. The bones were revealing, making it obvious that this person couldn't recover. Breathe slowly. See cough. Alive. I fed the man drinking water I had brought in. The man drank some water before coughing up blood again. I was forced to urgently ask him questions. How did you come here? Be prophet. Who are the prophets? The man's breathing was getting rougher. Our revelation. Received. Revelation. I want to. Live. Blood burst out from the man's mouth. He finally died. Young Hee Won and the others came up behind me. That person. I shook my head and looked down at the fallen man. Revelation. What funny bullshit. As far as I knew, only Anna Croft had the ability of, future sight, in ways of survival. Then there was only one answer. There was someone else besides me. But they didn't know as much as I did. The proof was that they didn't dare come here in person to test out the information. Dokya SSI. Take a break. We covered the man's body with a large lead and gathered near the dad T-Rex. W had to hurry to pursue Yu Jonghyuk. But if we didn't get enough rest, the party would be wiped out before we met him. I searched the T-Rex's body. I looked at the head and heart but unfortunately, I couldn't find any monster cores. That didn't mean there was no income. Young Hiwan drooled as she watched the T-Rex being cooked over the fire. Can we eat this? We can eat it because it is cooked with magic flames. The unripe parts can be cooked with the magic power stove. We sat side by side around the T-Rex's leg. As we cut the cooked flesh of the T-Rex little by little, steam rose. Lee Gilyoung shouted. Fresh meat. Lee Jaihee hurriedly rushed up and grabbed a pierce first. The rest of the group, including myself, also picked large pieces of flesh. Meat of this size. It was a luxury that couldn't be dreamt of back when I was an office worker. Lee Jaihee closed her eyes while enjoying the taste. Then she murmured in an ecstatic voice. Ah, the best taste in the world. It really was delicious. The fat was properly wrapped around the muscles, making it different from the ground rats. The feeling every time I took a bit, if Yu Sangha was here, she would have cried. After I consumed the meat, I felt my stamina recovering. The meat of an advanced species had these special effects. However, caution was required in some cases. Young Hee Won sighed. Phew, I ate well. It is really delicious but I will cry if I eat any more. We had a moderate rest and then headed straight to the laboratory in the center of the island. We encountered several raptors on the way but they were easy after the T-Rex. There were many flasks and ampules in the laboratory. There were small incubators containing dinosaur embryos and blood samples collected. There was only one thing missing. My eyes caught a few items as we entered the inner corridor. Stamina enhancing ampule. Magic power enhancing ampule. Agility enhancing ampule. Strength enhancing ampule. As expected, it was here. I started to pack the ampules. Just like the Ichthyosaur's core, these comprehensive stat growth items were available only in the early scenarios. It wasn't just one or two ampules. There were close to 20 bottles. If this was the case, my stats would be able to level up explosively. It was in anticipation of this hidden scenario that I saved coins instead of investing them in my stats. 
These ampules were only available when the corresponding stat was less than level 30. A juicy, what did you find now? Ah, this ghost-like girl. What? Stamina enhancement ampule. Lee Jaihai's eyes shone as she grabbed one ampule. Are you trying to eat these alone? Eat them all. Of course I will share it. Uni, look at this. A juicy. The other people in the party came closer due to the turmoil. Young Hiwan was shocked when she checked the item information. Oh my god, what are these items? This is a hidden scenario. I spoke with a bit of disgruntlement. Damn, this was a bit difficult. I didn't catch the T-Rex alone so taking all the items pricked my conscience. Some constellations are displeased with the situation. Lee Jaihee looked at the strength enhancement ampule and opened her mouth. Can you give me the strength enhancement ampule? I am a bit lacking in strength. The exclusive skill, character list is activated. It was a summary version that only contained the comprehensive stats. Character summary list. Name. Lee Jaihee. Private attribute. Scarred sword demon. Rare. Exclusive skills. Sword training LB. 4. Demon slaying LB. 1. Absolute sense LB. 2. Ghost walk LB. 2. Stigma. Sea battle LB. 1. Large army command LB. 1. Overall stats. Stamina LB. 13. Strength LB. 17. Agility LB. 13. Magic power LB. 10. This damn girl. Huh. Hiwan Uni, can't I have it? Um, Dokia SSI was the one who discovered it so it is his decision. Frankly, it didn't matter if the other party members received them but giving them to Lee Jaihee was a bit of a waste. She was part of Yu Jong Hyuk's group anyway. The constellation, demon-like judge of fire, expects your fairness. Fairness, yes, let's pick the most unbiased game I knew. I smiled and made a suggestion. How about rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors. There will be one winner at the end. Greed filled Lee Jaihai's face. Okay, well, I will do what Dokia SSI wants. But is it okay? It could be a mistake. Then doesn't that mean he is unlucky? Lee Jaihi asked. She was excited at the thought of getting a share of the items. Let's start with a strength enhancement ampule. I put out the strength enhancement ampule and said to Lee Jaihi. You will face me. I'm good at rock, paper, scissors. Will it be okay? Ah, is that so? I smiled at Lee Jaihi. Exclusive skill, Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint Stage 1 has been activated. The character, Lee Jaihi, has prepared, scissors. Closing square bracket dot 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 dot. Chapter 38. Episode 9 Omniscient Sunfish 3. The Constellation Secretive Plotter is curious about your scam. The Constellations have sponsored you 200 coins. The winner of the rock paper scissors was decided in an instant. Lee Gilyoung's face was slightly flushed while Young Hee Won had a satisfied expression. Lee Jaihee flopped to the ground with a devastated expression. This is ridiculous. Unfortunately, I couldn't read Lee Gilyoung's mind so two ampules went to him. You don't have to give it to me. Take it. He was cute. I stroked Lee Gilyoung's head. In addition, Young Hee Won won two stamina enhancement ampules. Young Hee Won received them with a smile. Thank you. It was tough so far with my stamina. It was only Lee Jaihee who didn't obtain any ampules. How can you beat me 18 out of 20 times? Did you cheat? I am originally good at rock, paper, scissors. Are you really going to do this? Can't you give me just one? You have Yu Jong Hyuk. I ignored Lee Jaihee's whines and packed the ampules. Young Hee Won patted the shoulder of the grouchy Lee Jaihee while staring at Lee Jaihee's shining sword. Little sister, the world has to be fair. Do 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 do. There was the sound of the helicopter's propellers. Lee Gilyoung looked at the distant dinosaur island and asked, Hung, can't I take it to the next floor? The big praying mantis was sitting in Lee Gilyoung's lap and talking to Lee Gilyoung. The praying mantis rubbed its antenna against Lee Gilyoung's jaw. Unfortunately, you can't take it. Lee Gilyoung's hugged the praying mantis with a sad expression. Take care Tatano. Queek. He had already given it a name. Unfortunately, monsters created in theater dungeon couldn't move to another floor. However, items could be taken to other floors. For example, I had the ampules that increased stats and the item I was now holding. Tyrant T-Rex's DNA ampule. The golden ampule was the most decisive reason for choosing this movie. It was an item that increased all stats by 10 for 30 minutes after ingestion. Although it had the disadvantage that it could only be used in theater dungeon, it was impossible to break through the last floor of this dungeon. Without this item, especially if Yu Jong Hyuk was in the worst situation as I thought. The praying mantis that Lee Gilyoung released flew in the air and the dark sky started to collapse. The first, ending credit, has been reached. Performers, 
Kim Dokya, Yung Hee Wan, Lee Jai Hee, Lee Gilyang. You have obtained 500 coins as compensation. I felt some dizziness and we appeared on the ground floor again. After we escaped, the movie posted on the wall was torn. It was evidence that we safely cleared it. Lee Jai Hee was complaining. Do you have to pass a few more floors like this? Yu Jong Hyuk will have broken most of it so it will be faster than you think. We headed straight to the second floor via the escalator. From the second floor, the remaining space was narrow because it was the full-fledged theater. Yung Hee Wan asked. There's no change. No matter how long we waited, the environment on the second floor didn't change. The camera wasn't seen and the screening didn't start either. Looking closer, all the posters on the second floor were torn. Lee Jai Hee noticed something. Is it only the movies whose posters are intact? I checked the torn posters one by one. Pacific Rim directed by Guillermo del Toro, a giant robots writing movie. Too bad. If this had been intact then I could have gotten the reward of hardened gloves. Inception directed by Christopher Nolan, it was good that this one was torn. Wow, I wanted to watch this. I saw the poster that Lee Jai Hee was looking at. Do you like superheroes? Yes. It is fortunate. Otherwise you would hate it after this. I see. On the torn poster, a green monster was roaring at us. We went straight up to the third floor. It is the same here. All the posters on the third floor were torn as well. Yu Jong Hyuk had properly swept through it. It was fortunate since there were a lot of dangerous movies on the third floor. Final Destination directed by James Wan, that bastard Yu Jong Hyuk, how did he break this? This was an annihilation movie. We are going up faster than I expected. Unlike Yung Hee Wan's bright voice, I was nervous every time we climbed a floor. Clearing the theater dungeon required some luck. Some of the posters on each floor weren't covered in ways of survival. Yu Jong Hyuk didn't clear all movies. There was a system message when we entered the fourth floor. You have entered the fourth floor. The spotlight poured down without giving me time to look at the posters. Yung Hee Wan gathered both hands together and prayed. Please don't be a ghost movie. I glanced at Yung Hee Wan and she gave me an excuse. Ghosts can't be killed with a sword. This was the reason. The screening has started. The background changed and when we opened our eyes, a sea breeze blew on the prow of a ship. This. Salt was felt in my mouth and the open horizon spread out before me. I was enraptured by the scenery of the sea. I had been working every day and it had been a few years since I've traveled anywhere. What is this movie? Next to me, Yung Hee Wan was wearing a full-length dress. A violin sound was heard from the inside of the cruise ship and there was the sound of excited people. It was an incredibly romantic atmosphere from a movie. Oh, I know what this movie is. Then Lee Jai Hai's voice was heard. Oh, accelerating all of a sudden. I looked back and saw that Lee Jai Hee was vomiting. Yung Hee Wan rushed over and patted her back. After vomiting for a long time, Lee Jai Hee said. Uh, I get seasick. It is okay, just vomit. I had wondered this since a while ago. Why did the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare choose Lee Jai Hee? No, I read the novel but I just didn't want to know. But Uni, is this? The movie. The boat that sinks. It seems so. Then, perhaps Uni is, Kate Winslet. Lee Jai Hee looked at Yung Hee Wan's dress like she was envious, then she looked at me. Then a juicy is, DiCaprio. You weak. I felt somehow grumpy when I saw her vomiting after saying that. At this time, Lee Gilyoung emerged from behind me. Hung. Lee Gilyoung was dressed in formal clothing. This clothing was somewhat familiar. Anyway, everyone was gathered. There is no time. The ship was now sinking. Unfortunately, the solution to this movie didn't appear in ways of survival. How could we beat the Titanic? Was it a fight with the sea? Lee Jai Hee was the first to comment. The ship is sinking anyway. Do we just have to sink with it? That is a little. It was frustrating. It would have been better if the movie had a clear enemy to crush. Let's look for the villain Hung. This was Lee Gilyoung's opinion. I didn't know if there was an obvious villain this movie, but since I couldn't think of anything else, I decided to follow it. Then let's handle the villain. We started moving. By the way, who was this movie's villain? The last time I watched the Titanic. But I didn't need to worry. The villain came to find us. A man in a clean suit was staring over here. Jack Dawson. Wait, Jack Dawson, the role that DiCaprio played. But the man wasn't looking at me. Me. He was DiCaprio. I sighed as I looked at Lee Gilyoung. After a while, we kidnapped a person we thought was the villain of the movie. But the theater master didn't respond. It wasn't enough to kidnap him. I hesitated for a moment before opening my mouth. Then, let's kill him. Lee Jai Hee pulled out her sword and pointed it. It was at a man struggling while his body was tied up. 
the theater master is a psychopath, then isn't the answer to kill him quickly. I thought so as well. No, I was sure of it. It was the answer to another movie like this in Ways of Survival. But Yung Hee Won gazed at the man in horror and unexpected said. But, he looks like a real person. Huh, this is a movie but he is just like a real person. It was surprising that Yung Hee Won said this when she had been neatly subjugating the week a few days ago. Then again, Yung Hee Won had said something like this, I might be a killer but I don't want to become a monster. Lee Ji Hai asked, Uni, what are you saying this type of sentimental thing now? You don't want to kill him. No, that isn't it. It is good to save people. But if this person doesn't die, we will die. We are definitely alive but this guy is just a character. Characters. I felt bemused at Lee Jai Hai's words. Yung Hee Won looked at me. Do you think so? Even if this guy is a real person, he is still a bad guy. Why is killing him bad? Lee Jai Hai's words might be right. This guy was definitely a villain of the scenario and would do bad things. So it was okay to kill him. Funnily enough, it was the logic that Yu Jong Hyuk often spoke about in ways of survival. The moment I opened my mouth, Lee Jai Hee hurriedly drew her sword. Sigh, what is this? Master could be dying right now. The blade descended and pierced the man's chest. Blood poured out. It was incredibly realistic. Then a system message was heard. The theater owner is satisfied with the changed ending of the movie. The stern of the ship will lead to the next floor. Look, I did it properly. Right. Lee Jai Hee shouted triumphantly. The answer obviously wasn't wrong. The theater master acknowledged this and the constellations would give coins for our actions. We would survive with these coins. It was a way of living that destroyed this world. The second, ending credit, has been reached. Performers, Kim Dokya, Yung Hee Won, Lee Jai Hee, Lee Gilyoung. You have obtained 500 coins as compensation. We weren't able to get a reward item from Titanic. Thus, we went straight to the next floor and followed the guidance of the system message. You have entered the fifth floor, the rewards room. Once we climbed the escalator, the rewards room finally showed up. Rewards room. It isn't a scary movie. This is an exhibition hall. It was a place they used to show original movie props. In fact, I knew this but I once again acted ignorant. Various movie props appeared in glass tubes. Equipment and costumes used by the main characters of various movies, stage accessories. The funny thing was that they were no longer props. Yung Hee Won approached a glass tube and shouted. Oh my god, look at this. Mikazuki Munekika, replica, a great sword. Yung Hee Won's eyes sparkled as she looked at the glass tube and I nodded. You finally obtained a proper sword, Hee Won SSI. Whoa, it was obviously a great sword at first glance. The originally Grohl horn knife wasn't comparable and it wasn't lacking when compared to Lee Jai Hai's blade. Yung Hee Won started to swing the sword in his hand. Isn't this amazing? It is light and moves properly. I had never seen Yung Hee Won like this. The character, Yung Hee Won, is deeply grateful to you. It was nothing. The main purpose of targeting the theater dungeon was the compensation of the fifth floor. The theater dungeon was a good place to farm for items early on. In particular, Yung Hee Won would become stronger with this weapon. The reward items are limited to two per person. It wasn't a genuine, star relic, person it was a movie prop, but the replica version had characteristics of the original item. A great items were close to a scam in the early stages. By the way, Yu Jong Hyuk had already passed through here. Two items were already gone. Pick your items. Each one can only obtain two so choose carefully. I told Yung Hee Won to pick an item Yu Sangha could use while I found one for Lee Hun Sung. This one seemed usable. Hercules Shield Replica, a grade shield. Good, it was an item that couldn't be compared with the old iron shield. I thought of how Lee Hun Sung's eyes would shine with loyalty towards me and already felt warm. Lee Jai Hee, who claimed to be a fan of superheroes, was trying to pull an item from the corner. Ah, why can't I hold this? I came closer. This was it. Mjolnir, replica, a great blunt weapon. The hammer of the god of lightning, Thor. It would have been an enormous item if it was a genuine star relic, still, the quality of the original was so great that the performance of the replica was significant. I watched Lee Jaihi groaning as she grabbed the hammer that couldn't be moved. Isn't this an item that only someone special can use? Damn, I'm not special. At this time, Lee Gilyoung came up behind her and reached out to Mjolnir. Hey kid, this is mine. Mjolnir was lightly lifted by Lee Gilyoung's hands. Lee Gilyoung swung the hammer around before looking at me. Hung, can I have it? Yes, it looks good. Lee Jaihee once again looked stunned. Only I am unhappy, just me. 
I ignored her and searched the remaining items. Let's see what was left. External reinforced suit, replica, a grade protective clothing. I didn't know what would happen in the future but it would be nice to supplement my defense. Once I wore the suit, it wrapped around my arms and legs. Damage from external attacks is reduced by 10%. The ability to detect enemies is improved. You can move more agilely than before. It was a bit frustrating but it was still better than not wearing it. In particular, I thought about the fight waiting at the end of this. Now the preparations were finished. Since there were no significant changes in the dungeon, it was clear that Yu Zhonghyuk was alive. If we moved quickly through the 6th floor, we might be able to meet on the 7th floor. In the worst case scenario, if he was fighting the boss on the 8th floor, at least he was still alive. Now, let's go and get our damn regressor back. Chapter 39. Episode 9 Omniscient Sunfish 4. Unfortunately, Yu Zhonghyuk wasn't on the 6th floor. The only comfort was that the movie on the 6th floor was easy. It was a typical thriller directed by Brian Singer. I knew the killer said it was possible to clear it quickly. The theater owner is satisfied with the changed ending of the movie. You have obtained 500 coins as compensation. Lee Jaehee asked as if she was dumbfounded. He was really the killer. Don't tell me it is a spoiler. There is actually someone here who hasn't seen it. The constellation, secretive plotter, hates spoilers. In any case, an item was rewarded due to the movie's unique characteristics. Skill book. Calm observation. Calm observation. It was quite a useful skill. This skill allowed the user to see the movements of the target and figure out their overall stats. It didn't mean much to me since I could use character list, but it would be quite useful for people like Yu Sangha and Lee Gilyang. This skill would be good against enemies excellent at acting. The exclusive skill, calm observation, has been acquired. Still, I felt a bit sad. It would be nice to experience a movie like Gladiator. I had yet to obtain a suitable combat passive skill. He might purchase the skill weapons training but it wasn't a good idea to spend coins on the skill right now. Now I am tired of movies. I agreed with Yung Hee Wan's words. I didn't want to look at a movie theater for a while. I should just be satisfied with the high performance fee. We went directly up to the seventh floor. Maybe this time we could see Yu Jong Hyuk's back. Damn. Most of the posters on the seventh floor were torn. Yes, Yu Jong Hyuk was now in the boss room. Under these circumstances, there was really no time to delay. Run. It is almost the last floor. We started to run. We had to catch up with that guy as fast as possible. Before he gave up everything. We passed through the auditoriums and ran down the aisles. The posters on the seventh floor were of Korean movies popular in the past. Shit, please let all of them be torn. However, unlike what I hoped, the last poster was still intact. Damn. The screening will begin. The blue spotlight covered the party and the scene changed. My head spun and a salty smell entered my nose. The stage was the sea. But, this time it wasn't a cruise ship. There was the smell of artillery. The rough texture of the panaction could be felt. Panaction wiki link. The moment I turned my head on the shaky boat, I heard someone's voice. Everybody, down. I reflexively fell down and there was a bombardment of gunfire around me. Tang 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 a few soldiers collapsed while bleeding. Protect the ship. The soldiers dressed in old military garb were rushing around. An uneasy wind blew as war took place. The turbulent Myongyang Strait was swirling and there was the distant sound of drums. Damn it. There was no Korean who didn't know this movie. It was because this movie had been watched by most South Koreans. Young Hee Won looked at the horizon and muttered. This, how can we win? The ending of Theater Dungeon would only open when the master was satisfied. Kukukuking. 300 Japanese warships filled the sea. I hurriedly confirmed the power on our side. Still, this was a movie based on historical facts. There was hope. What is this? There was only one panaction where there should be 12. I hurriedly grabbed one of the sailors around him and asked. Where is the commander? Common. Dur. Admiral Yi. The navy sailor had no idea at all. My chest became cold. It was different from the movie I knew. The theater master changed the story. In no time, the enemy narrowed the distance. This was ridiculous. How could we win the battle of Myongyang without help from the Duke of Loyalty in warfare? I looked around and hurriedly exclaimed. Lee Jaehee. TL, for those who won't know, this movie is the Admiral, roaring currents about Admiral Yi Sunshin, which broke records when it was released. Wiki link here. I thought that this might happen. If fact, I brought Lee Jaehee not just for her power but to consider the, what ifs. The constellation, Maritime War God, is sorry for Lee Jaehee. 
It wasn't difficult to find Li Jiehe. There was only one boat and the place where Duke of Loyalty and Warfare's messages could be heard was limited. Yua, she was vomiting in a corner of the first floor deck. Hey, are you okay? Li Jiehe looked up at me with moist eyes. I can't, I can't do it. This wasn't about me. The constellation, Maritime War God, is encouraging, Li Jiehe. Never, I will never do it. Oof. She vomited once again. I knew. The reason why this person was chosen by Duke of Loyalty and Warfare, despite hating the sea. Due to the effect of your exclusive attribute, the memories from the books you have read will increase. In my head, a scene from the 40th chapter of Ways of Destruction passed. Hey, how did she get chosen by the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare when she is afraid of the sea? I don't know. Um, maybe because she has the Admiral in her ancestry. She is the descendant of the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare. There was considerable criticism from a few readers apart from me who made it to the 40th chapter of Ways of Destruction. No, did it make sense for her to have the blood of the great Duke of Loyalty and Warfare? But I had read all the chapters except for the epilogue of Ways of Destruction so I knew. Li Jiehe wasn't of the bloodline of the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare. The constellation, Maritime War God, misses his old friend when he sees, Li Jiehe. Then are you a Li from the Deoxu clan? No, I am a Jeonju Li. TL note, as with all Korean family names, the holders of the Li surname are divided into different lineages, known in Korean as Bon Guan, based on their ancestral seat. Most such clans trace their lineage back to a specific founder, and are generally not related to one another. Wiki link. The constellation, Maritime War God, looks at the descendant of an old friend. Li Jiehe was the descendant of Li Eoki, the companion of the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare. Li can also be romanized as Yi. I chose to make it Li to match with Li Jiehe, his descendant. Wiki Link. Duke of Firmness and Compassion, Li Eoki. Along with the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare, he led the navy to victory in the Battle of Tanghangpo and the Battle of Hansendu. He was one of the few who defended the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare, Yi Sunshin when he was arrested on unfair charges. However, he didn't have enough myths and didn't become a sponsor. The constellation, Maritime War God, is looking at, Li Jiehe, with sad eyes. Due to that, the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare selected Li Jiehe. She wasn't his descendant but the descendant of his closest confidant. Maybe it was simply the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare's choice. Perhaps the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare didn't see it. The fact that the descendant of his deceased confidant and friend would be killed by his own hands and become a demon. Well, this was according to the setting of Ways of Survival. A bounty scenario has occurred. Plus, bounty scenario, those who seek death shall live. Those who seek life will die. Category, sub, difficulty, B+. Clear conditions. The, maritime war god, is asking you for help. Encourage Li, Jaihe, incarnation of Duke of Loyalty and Warfare, and win the Battle of Myongyang. Time limit, 2 hours. Compensation. A stigma from the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare. Failure. Plus. I doubted my eyes for a moment. The bounty scenarios were rarely requested by a constellation alone. I looked closely because it was strange and saw that the reward was also extraordinary. The stigma of the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare. If I cleared this scenario, I would be able to use one of the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare's stigmas without signing a contract. I shook Li Jaihe. Li Jaihe, stop it. Quickly. I don't want to. Uck. The three of you can handle it. Can't you endure it a little bit? Endure. A juicy doesn't know. I didn't know. Yes, this was her manner of talking. However, there was no time to accept her childish actions. No, I know. You aren't like this because of seasickness. What? It is because your dead friend liked this movie. Lee Jaihe shook, like a boxer hit in the jaw. It was like a scene rushing into her head. It was the first scenario at Depot Girls High School. She strangled her friend with her bare hands. T that. How did you? Don't ask how I know. There is no time to explain. Li Jaihe looked up at me with blank eyes. You killed your friend with your own hands only to die like this. The first floor deck was pierced with a hook. I grabbed the hook shooting towards Li Jaihe with my bare hands. Li Jaihe shook as she looked at me. You can run away here or not. You will never be forgiven. But, there were loud shouts. I could hear the sound of Japanese raiders jumping on the ship. If you wake up now, at least you can save some people. I came up onto the second floor deck with the trembling Li Jaihe. Li Gilyoung and Yung Hee Wan were already surrounded. I raised my weapon. The enemies were ordinary Japanese soldiers. We wouldn't lose in a one-on-one -on -one battle. 
The problem was that there were too many numbers. Quick. I sliced at the incoming soldiers but couldn't see an end to it. The enemy ships were firing from a distance. We were finished if this ship sunk. The movie would end tragically and we would die here. Lee Jaihee. I realized the greatness of Yi Sunshin. How did he lead this battle to victory? Wake up now. This was a cursed scenario. We didn't have Song Yo Young or Yung Yangdu. Apparently close companions of Yi Sunshin. All we had was a weak girl protected by the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare. The girl staggered on the deck of the second floor. I I'm disgusting. I, I don't deserve to be alive. Yes, it was disgusting. I was disgusting along with the way that I was using her. No one would be qualified. You you. Tears endlessly poured from Lee Jai Hai's eyes. I held her Kuehl's shield and stood in front of her. Kwong. 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 Survive and take responsibility. Atone for the rest of your life or live a garbage life. Just somehow survive. The ship was being broken by the indiscriminate shelling. I turned to her with cold eyes. Or do you really want to die here? Your understanding of the character, Lee Jaihe, has increased. All types of emotions came from the crying Lee Jaihe. She was drowning in the dark emotions of resentment, self-contempt and disillusionment with the world. Nevertheless, there was a straightforward emotion under it. I don't want to die. The constellations were selfish. There were those who didn't support their incarnation or didn't care if their incarnation died or not. But, as long as any constellation was in the stage of their, myth, they wouldn't turn away from their incarnation. The constellation, Maritime War God, has responded to the will of, Lee. Jaihe. A brilliant red light burst around Lee Jaihe's body. It was good for you Jong Hyuk but I didn't get nothing. I had something to gain. The character, Lee Jaihe, has received a new stigma. The third stigma of sword demon Lee Jaihe. It was the strongest stigma that would later make her a maritime admiral. To God, Lee Jaihe held the hilt of her sword and looked at the sea. There were many enemies and no allies. She quietly turned her sword towards the world. There are still 12 ships left. A radiant beam emerged from the end of her sword. The character, Lee Jaihe, has activated the stigma, Ghost Fleet LV. 1. Water vapor rose in the area. Water sprayed all over the place and 12 ghost ships appeared in the sea. Get revenge on the enemies. The drumming paused like it was embarrassed. Shells flew towards the ghost fleet. However, the ghost fleet was disembodied and didn't suffer any damages. Die in this place. Finally, Lee Jaihai's fleet started to move forward. 12 ships moved through the water, creating countless ripples. The white barrels started firing and the ships blocking the path collapsed helplessly. K-W-A-K-W-A-K-W-A-K-W-A-K-W-A. The girl who didn't cry led the battlefield. In front of the ghost fleet, the warships were completely overwhelmed. It wasn't just me. Yung Hee-won and Lee Gil-young also gaped at the scene. This was the real power of a stigma. It was the power of the admiral that wasn't pushed by anyone in a maritime war. In the fading light of the sunset, the screams of the Japanese were heard from among the smoke. The whirlpool of Myongyang Strait sucked in the dead bodies. It took less than an hour for the last enemy ship to collapse. The theater owner is satisfied with the changed ending of the movie. The fourth, ending credit, has been reached. Performers, Kim Dokya, Yung Hee-won, Lee Jaihee, Lee Gilyang. You have obtained 500 coins as compensation. As soon as we received the ending credit, additional messages came up. The bounty scenario is cleared. You have received the Maritime War God's reward for the bounty scenario. Frankly, I was filled with expectations. Maybe I would get Ghost Fleet. If I could just get it then I wouldn't be envious of Lee Jaihe. The stigma, Song of the Sword, has been acquired. I thought I heard wrong when the message popped up. The stigma Song of the Sword. This was originally a stigma that Lee Jaihe acquired midway in the story. Yet the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare gave me this stigma. The constellation, Maritime War God, thanks you. In a sense, this skill was something I needed more than Ghost Fleet right now. If I had this stigma, I might be able to prevent the worst from happening on the 8th floor. The surrounding scenery slowly changed and we returned to the inside of the movie theater. The exhausted Lee Ji Hai was staring at me. A juicy. You rest here. We will go to save you Jong Hyuk. But, listen up. I obtained a new stigma but I didn't have time to laugh. No matter how good the stigma, there was no meaning if this, world was over. In order to prevent that, end, I had to save Yu Jong Hyuk. I distributed the ampules I gathered to everyone. When raising the stats level, the coins consumption was increased every 10 levels. Therefore, I would use my coins first before the ampules. 
4,000 coins have been consumed. The comprehensive enhancement ampules have been used. Stamina LB. 18 to Stamina LB. 24. Strength LB. 18 to Strength LB. 24. Agility LB. 11 to Agility LB. 20. Magic Power LB. 10 to Magic Power LB. 15. All stats have increased significantly. We climbed the last stairway. Everyone, get ready. You have entered the 8th floor, the Heavenly Garden. The 8th floor of the theater was a rooftop. It was a small dome reminiscent of an opera house. As soon as I stepped on the green grass of the rooftop, I found the back of the regressor I was looking for. Ah, when I thought about all those who would suffer if he died, my anger soared. Fortunately, the back of his head was good enough to be hit. Hey Yu Jonghyuk. I ran towards Yu Jonghyuk and hit him in the back of the head. Chapter 40. Episode 9 Omniscient Sunfish 5. The cold sensation numbed my fingers. Damn it, I really wanted to beat this guy up. But, there was something strange. Yu Jonghyuk. This guy, he didn't look back. A gray-white aura was flowing from Yu Jonghyuk's body. The aura felt ominous and caused my hairs to rise. I instinctively took a step back. Looking closer, the aura was connected to an old man sitting on a chair on the 8th floor. I knew everything the moment I saw this old man. The theater master simulacrum has been revealed. Damn it, it had become like this. Yu Jonghyuk emanated the whitish aura and slowly turned towards me. It was the worst situation. The theater master simulacrum has controlled the character, Yu Jonghyuk. Goosebumps covered my entire body. A formidable killing intent was rising from the guy who lost all sense of reason. There was no character in the world who could stop this guy now. The character, Yu Jonghyuk, has used Force Palm LB. 4. I barely managed to open my mouth. W. Wait a minute. Kwong. I experienced a strong pain in my side and my consciousness became numb. As this person who did as he liked shot forward, pages flipped through my head. I was alert. The 8th turn Yu Jonghyuk didn't die in theater dungeon because he was weak. Strictly speaking, Yu Jonghyuk wasn't lucky. The boss of the theater dungeon is the worst opponent for a regressor Lai Yu Jonghyuk. My breathing was back. Kuhup. Hyuk. The external reinforced suit is damaged. There is a reduction in the defense. I got up while holding my abdomen. It was a really nonsensical attack power. I ate so many ampules yet still received this much damage from one blow. One blow dealt huge damage and I was blown away to the other side of the rooftop. The character, Yung Hiwan, has used Demon Slaying LB. 2. In the distance, Yung Hiwan's eyes were burning. I tried to get up but my body wasn't listening to me. The character, Yu Jonghyuk, has used 100 steps Godly Fists LB. 4. The current Yung Hiwan wasn't Yu Jonghyuk's opponent. She could endure a few blows due to demon slaying but blood started to emerge from Yung Hiwan's mouth. Yu Jonghyuk was much stronger than I expected. The exclusive skill, character list is activated. There is too much information about this person. Character list is converted to summary list. Only randomly specified items will be displayed according to user's convenience. Character summary list. Name. Yu Jonghyuk. Private attribute. Regressor third turned myth pro gamer. Rare. Exclusive skills. Sage's eyes LB. 8. Hand to hand combat LB. 8. Advanced Weapons Training LB. 5. Mental Barrier LB. 5. 100 Steps Godly Fists LB. 2. Red Phoenix Shunpo LB. 1. Omitted. Stigma. Regression LB.3. Transmission LB. 1. Overall Stats. Stamina LB. 28. Strength LB. 27. Agility LB. 26. Magic Power LB. 25. The character is currently in a loss of reason state. This bastard. He activated a new stigma. Transmission. It was a stigma that allowed Yu Jonghyuk to wake up the skills he had in the past over time. Through this stigma, Yu Jonghyuk would become a full-scale monster. Master. At this time, Li Jaihe came upstairs. The jerk flying. Towards Yung Hiwan turned towards Li Jaihe. K-W-A-K-W-A-K-W-A-K-W-A. Kyok. Thanks to the favor of the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare or maybe Ghost Walk, Li Jaihe fortunately avoided the blow. I shouted toward Li Jaihe. He is being controlled. Go after the theater master. However, Li Jaihe wasn't free enough to do so. In the end, we couldn't reach the theater master without going through Yu Jonghyuk. Yung Hiwan and Li Jaihe's eyes crossed. Their swords moved towards Yu Jonghyuk at the same time. It was the combo of Kendo and sword training. But the combo that damaged even the T-Rex didn't work on Yu Jonghyuk. 
Kuhayak, Li Jaihi was hit in the face with hundred steps godly fists, spat out blood and collapsed. The character, Yung Hiwan, has activated the exclusive skill, Judgment Time. The constellations of the Absolute Good System are silent at Yung Hiwan's request. The skill has been cancelled. Yung Hiwan cursed. Damn it, not this guy as well. It was natural. Yu Zhang Hyuk was ruthless but his essence was, righteous. Yung Hiwan was hit by a force punch and lost her sword, rolling across the ground. In this desperate moment, Li Gilyoung used the special skill, Mjolnir's Thunder, from behind me. Kukuking. The character, Yu Zhang Hyuk, has offset the impact of the attack with, lightning resistance. Yu Zhang Hyuk looked this way. Shit. I knew he would be strong but, this much. I touched Li Gilyoung's shoulder and staggered forward. Gilyoung. Please. Do you know what to do? Li Gilyoung quickly noticed and immediately nodded. Yes Hung. I'm sorry. No. Li Gilyoung started to mumble something straight away. Li Gilyoung's pupils slowly reversed. I didn't want to do this but now I had to mobilize all my cards. You have used the Tyrant T-Rex's DNA ampule. All stats will explosively increase for 30 minutes. Yes, let's fight you son of a bitch. Stamina LB. 24 to Stamina LB. 34. Strength LB. 24 to Strength LB. 34. Agility LB. 20 to Agility LB. 30. Magic Power LB. 15 to Magic Power LB. 25. The vitality in your body is rising. The potential of your muscles have exploded. You can move more agilely than before. Your heart is seething with an unknown energy. The gap in insufficient skills was filled with overwhelming stats. If Yu Zhang Hyuk's transmission was complete, it would be a useless gamble. But it was possible since the skill level was low. Still, it would only be for a moment. This moment was good. The exclusive skill, White Pure Star Energy LB, one foot has been activated. The accumulation of stats will increase the level of White Pure Star Energy. White Pure Star Energy LB. 1 to White Pure Star Energy LB. 2. The feeling of the magic power at my fingertips changed. I didn't have to run as he rushed towards me first. I realized my momentum was unusual as he pulled out his sword for the first time. The character, Yu Zhang Hyuk, has used, splitting the sky energy LB. 2 feet. Kakakakak. Sparks flew from our blades. Neither Yu Zhang Hyuk or I stepped back. I felt tremendous pressure as I gripped the blade. Blue ether burned around his blade. At this point, it was wonderful beyond admiration. In the world of ways of survival, higher stats created an absolute gap in power. Now my physical stats were in the third stage while Yu Zhang Hyuk was in the second. TL, so over 30 and over 20. Still, he wasn't pushed by me at all. No, it was to the point where I was pushed. I gritted my teeth. Exclusive skill, Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint Stage 2 has been activated. As soon as the skill was activated, Yu Zhang Hyuk's thoughts entered my mind. It is painful. Several more times in the future. Do I need to repeat this? I was furious. This bastard, already. Wake up you jerk. I struck his sword with all my might and stretched out a fist towards his jaw. The attack was possible because I read his movements with omniscient reader's viewpoint. Supik. My fist hit his chin and he stumbled for the first time. Once the regression begins, everything will go back to the beginning. All my companions will lose their memories and my history is erased. You idiot. Then everything will repeat again. In fact, sunfish were very durable creatures. They died because they were vulnerable to stress, not because they were weak. Just like this guy in front of me. The theater master was able to control Yu Zhang Hyuk was due to his uneasy mental state. The theater master had weak physical abilities but the best mental abilities. If Yu Zhang Hyuk's mental barrier was over level 80,000, this wouldn't have happened. What am I? Yu Zhang Hyuk's eyes were blurred. I was furious once I heard the thoughts in his head. Aren't you a real protagonist? As someone who read all 3,149 chapters of Ways of Survival, I was furious. Haven't you only regressed three times? I once again hit his head with all my strength. Was it a miracle? The blow to his jaw slowed him down a bit. I didn't miss the opportunity and kicked his chest. Do you really think so? You have already forgotten the determination of your first attempt. I am the only living thing in this world. A lonely voice. You bastard, don't fall into those sentiments. I shouted while blocking his sword. If you can't find the meaning of life in front of you, didn't you decide to live for the greater cause? The exclusive skill, fourth wall, is activated. I didn't know who I was talking to anymore. Hot flames sprang up from the blade. My eyes stung and my skin became raw from the heat. My voice was breathless. 
Maybe I was also lost in the moment. I am alone. It was as if I was Yu Jong Hyuk or even lived Yu Jong Hyuk's life. My chest was tight. Alone. I. What did I come here for if you are alone? I. My sword struck and tore at his hands. Blood flowed and the flesh was torn. I wielded the sword like a madman. I gritted my teeth. Why are you alone? When you died like a fool in the theater dungeon, when you cried over your dead little sister, when the prophet stabbed you in the back. When your loved one gave birth to a child. As I was talking, I strangely recalled other memories. Letters and letters passed. My old memories of ways of survival. You went crazy after your child died. The complex memories of his family affairs and things he experienced passed through my mind. Fighting against the demon kings and the Ritter knees. The nightmares of the senior officers in the army. Helping people and fighting against the damn reincarnators. When you finally stood before the constellations. The days when I struggled to get a job and when my bosses were vile and abusive. Everything was in order to live. In order to survive every day. Look around you and try to live somehow. Even so, I returned home. I felt relieved when reading one novel. I, my hand holding the blade trembled. I became too excited. Damn it. I just needed to buy enough time. I breathed roughly and looked ahead. But, something was strange. Was it an illusion? It was only a moment but a dim light was returning to Yu Jong Hyuk's hand. I, some things couldn't be understood even if I read his mind. My heart thumped the moment I saw Yu Jong Hyuk's look. The excessive immersion has caused the, fourth wall, to shake. Yu Jong Hyuk's eyes were staring straight at me. You, who are you? Dot 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 dot. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint written by Sing Shang. Audio by Dex San Wu Li.